This is your boy N O R E, and usually we have E F N here. E F N uh, is sick. He we wanted to take the proper precautions. Um, we don't want to get anybody else sick, so you know I told him that I hold it down. But in honor of that, we got someone who's been on Drink Champs at least five or six times. <laughs> a history with Drink Champs, so I figured we might as well have T I come in. So let's make some noise with T I. But this is. This is a very special edition of uh, uh, Drink Champs because we're going, uh, uh, you know, speaking uh, uh, also here, we got Joseph. Make some noise for Joseph Sakara. <laughs> and we also got Terrence J. Make some noise for Terrence J. <laughs> but with all of their luxurious careers and so much things they got going on, I'm going to try to keep this interview about the movie. Okay. I'm going to really try as much as I'm fresh off of seeing the movie just right. now. And you didn't see the movie. I ain't seen it yet. And you ain't see the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make the noise of me seeing the movie before that. Hey, man, also, also uh, if we could just point out the fact that I just found out our co host like five seconds ago. So let's just, everybody makes a noise for that, man. That's a drink yeah, I just found out. So, so, so oh, jo Joseph, is it cool I call you Joseph? Yeah, so, um, other than Tommy, you you, yeah, yo, because you know, yo, yo, that's okay. Let me, let me, let me, you know what's funny about that, Tommy, specifically? Um, I hung out with Tommy for Martin before, oh, yeah, and I just kept calling him Tommy, and I kept calling all the actors that by their names, oh, and they just looking at me like, Tommy, though. Yeah, yeah, I know he was, <laughs> but um, all the other actors were offended, like when I was calling them by their names. But sometimes you do a legendary role like that where people, um, you nail it so good that people only identify you as that. Is that something you ever ran into? Well, right now, just coming from right. the son of Queens right, uh, right, right. and saying that to yeah, me, that's yes. a badge of honor. You call, yeah, call yeah. me Joseph, call me Tommy, just yeah. call me now. <laughs> 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 but has that ever like affected you? Like people saying that, uh, what, I think they call it cast, 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 what is it? Typecast. Type 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 yeah, typecast. Uh, yeah, type uh, uh -huh. uh, you know, I feel like even... It's interesting because Tom, Tommy is very specific, but it's also the power universe that mm -hmm. 50 has created right. um, has been kind of bypassed by Hollywood. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, at the same time, I go to Los Angeles. We were just in Los Angeles, me and mm -hmm. Deion Taylor, the director of the great film Fear. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, ev almost every person that I met was like, hey, you're the guy who got his dick shot off in Ozark, right? In Ozark, yeah, yeah, no, yeah you just, oh, you're going yeah. too fast. It's my second question. Right. Come on, get back, get back, But so, yeah. so, and that's such a different character than right. Tommy. I mean, it's a it's a 180 degree difference. It's the right. antithesis of Tommy. Right. It's, it's, uh, that guy wishes he was Tommy Egan okay. in every sense of the word. So I still get to play all these different characters. So when right. people say, uh, I got asked yesterday, are you scared of being typecast? And my answer was, I'm from the theater, darling. <laughs> so, you know, I, I played a million different roles right. and it's, it's okay. You put your heart and your soul into every role that you play and play a 160 degree character, a 360 degree character, and you have a real person, and that's all I'm after. It's just like I'm, I, I love playing Tommy. Tommy's right. Tommy's crazy and and yeah. fun, and yes. I, I'll keep doing it for years. God damn, make noise for Tommy. Damn. Now, one of the things that I seen watching the movie off top was the hip hop's placement. Mm. I got to see Ace of Spade, and I got to see Sarah. Mm -hmm. And I, I immediately thought of one of you brothers and that I said, which, which one? I know it was intentional. Yeah, it was I, I know how. It was a collective. It was, okay. You know what I'm saying? Every opportunity we got, like, mm -hmm. we're going to put our people in there. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And, you know, of course, 
Terrence J is uh you know he 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 probably he probably thought of it at first. Yes, uh, it was dope. It was, every it time going, the champagne though. got popped, it was Ace of Spades. I was like, oh shit! Then then they didn't have to have vodka there. They the, the killer. I didn't know. I didn't know but what to happen. We didn't plan ahead of time. No. <laughs> okay. You see what I'm saying? Like okay. it was kind of like okay, this shot is coming up. Man, mm. we have a bottle of Ace of Spades. Somebody got a bottle of Syrah. Sometimes we didn't have Ace of Spades. We had to find some Syrah. Woo! And you know what I mean? It was it was. You yeah, only drink Ace of Spades, man. That, that uh, you drink Ace of Spades, baby. Keep well, me drinking. Is, is <laughs> you drink the champagne, you <laughs> yeah. may as well. Yeah, and you know it's a testament to to our director Dion Taylor. That's right. And the whole infrastructure that they That's built right. around this film. Black empowerment. Right. Of course, Tommy. Yes. I mean, uh, Joseph yes. as well. Yes. Uh, but it's all about. <laughs> He's wearing black. He yes. is wearing black. Um, yes. okay. You know, supporting black businesses, giving uh -huh. those looks, giving those opportunities. Very, very. And important. if you look in the kitchen, there's Branson in there and Le Chemin de Roy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I didn't peek that. I'm sorry, Mindy. I'm sorry, I didn't peek that. You feel I, me? I did see you. Yo, that is dope. That is dope. So, Terrence, right? Coming from the hosting background, right? 106 in Park. Since 106 in Park, there ain't been another 106 in Park. Yeah. There's been a lot of fake, there's been a lot of imitations, there's been a lot of phonies. Why do you think these shows aren't as current as they used to be, like the TRLs and all this? Why is it not popping no more? I, I think it's a different world, right? It's a different landscape. Back mm -hmm. then, when T.I. dropped a video, mm -hmm. you used to have to run home Be there at 3 o'clock. watch it at 6 o'clock yeah, to see it, right? Yes. Now you can you can consume your entertainment in so many different ways. It's on your phone, right? Mm -hmm. You can watch any video as it drops. So mm -hmm. the way people have consumed it is different. So mm -hmm. the outlets are different. Now you have things that have emerged like Drink Champs right. that have completely changed the landscape and, and have done things that we couldn't do, you mm -hmm. know, 10 years ago on a show like 106. Right. But I think it's a beautiful thing, man. I think progression mm -hmm. is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. I think that the the level of ownership that you know, people like yourself and all of these new outlets have you now. You answering this it's perfect, nigga. I ain't gonna thing, lie so. to you. Yeah, you answering this good. perfect, man. <laughs> <laughs> you are very too PR trained <laughs> for drink tests. You gonna have to take some uh, some shots. I've hey. never heard a perfect more more of a perfect <laughs> answer than this. That was, let's me know I'm not doing my job. Don't we gotta take some shots. This. Hey, hey, look. <laughs> hey, look, bro. He, he said that to me my first three times being on there, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man. Bro pulled up on me. Hey, listen, man. What's up with us, man? <laughs> like, like you just you just be answering the, the, the answers all correct and shit. Like yes, you up, yes, you up. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, like, why you so stiff, bro? <laughs> no bullshit. Nah, nah, I'm fucking with you, but um, yeah, I, um, uh, uh, you you're right because content is like, I remember uh, I remember waking up and actually having to get a paper, right? Yeah, I'm that old, right? Mm. Like when you had to get a. <laughs> Now, I wake up and the paper's already in my hand. Yeah. Like, Twitter's my paper. Everything. Like, I don't really care about the sports section no more because I'll find the highlights on Twitter. Mm. Like, I don't even have to go to ESPN no more at this point. Like, I actually... It's like, does that, does that make the music whacker? I, I think not, not whacker. I mean, mm. obviously, there, there's great songs. There's great... Mm projects coming out. Mm. I think like the cohesiveness of like having full albums, we're not seeing that as much because uh -uh. people are able to consume their songs. Mm -hmm. You know, you like these two songs, you're listening to that mm -hmm. as opposed to listening to a complete body of work. Right. So I think that that has changed. But I, you know, I, I just think it's, things are different. They're not right. better, they're not worse. It's just right. the times have progressed. Like you said, you can see how much Braun has dropped before right. you get up, right. you know, to have breakfast, right? right? So you just consume it in a different way. So mm -hmm. it, it's just progress. As it pertains to like, right. you know, to music, mm -hmm. I think that I think that it being a direct-to-consumer mm. uh, a market now, we're, we have access to more authenticity. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Before, a motherfucker had to go through gatekeepers. Right. You know, in order to go through gatekeepers, most of the time, you had to be polished and poised and had to right. you know, be astute. Right. You know what I mean? Of the system. Right. Now, you can go, anybody can make a hit. Right. And, it, and you straight to the consumer, so it don't matter whether... Kevin Lyles, mm -hmm. Puff Daddy, Leo Cohen, or... Let's, or, let's pick them up, by the way. You know, right on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those are my friends. Go ahead. Russell Simmons, uh -huh. Craig Cab. It don't yeah. matter whether mm -hmm. they said it mm -hmm. was good enough. Mm -hmm. I can go straight to 
YouTube, I yeah. can go straight to... YouTube's still a middleman, though. You, well, I mean, but it's direct to consumer. It's still direct it's, to consumer. It's, it's, it's user-generated. Well, that's not a middleman, but... It's user-generated. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They may dictate and determine how many people you can have access to, mm-hmm. but you can still upload it yourself and get straight to the consumer. And that authentic... Everybody wants to see themselves. Folks, let me just tell y'all something. T.I. is so much not a rapper no more. He came, <laughs> he came early. I was disappointed. I said, wait a minute. You, you're supposed to be a rapper. You're supposed to be at least 15 minutes late. He came 15 minutes early and then check out his shoes. You got to show your shoes. Put your shoes on the table real quick. Show these people your shoes, T.I. Please. I, show these people. This one you know you're getting money. I refuse. When you wear some shoes like this. I refuse. <laughs> you refuse? I refuse <laughs> to point. take attention away from these fine <laughs> actors. <laughs> At some and point, producers. we're going to focus on the shoes. I I'm telling you. And I, I saw you taking a picture of it. You're trying to be slick. Hey, I saw you taking a picture of it out there. Nah, I, I was showing it to my wife. My wife <laughs> okay. was like, you know what I'm saying? What you put on? You <laughs> know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, sh- <laughs> But check the shoes out, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Holy, uh, you just had a different shirt on like right. 20 minutes ago. Hey, you man. Oh, whoa, whoa. You don't change and get fresh <laughs> on your ass. You're a wild guy here, bro. So, so, but so speaking of authenticity, yeah. to bring it back to that, it's interesting in the movie, too, because I find a lot of young actors, I think it's so reflective of the music, exactly what Tip said, is that so much of the music that's today, it's like, these guys actually have to be doing that, right. especially, I, I think, a drill stuff. It's like, no, if, no, if you're not, if you're not, if you don't have that piece, you're not, you don't have these bodies, I'm Ooh. not listening to you. And in some ways, it's really difficult because it has translated into uh, the acting world, where it's like, People, the, the the craft of acting and becoming somebody else is now sacrificed. It's like, no, no, we want that guy, or right. or I have to be. Especially on the power show, these young actors are like, no, no, I got it like this, and I, they're talking about you know certain things where it's like, no, you're an actor, like relax about let, that let stuff. You, me, but one of yeah. the things too is about in the fear movie is yeah. that I think that we have an opportunity here. I I see it every time I watch the movie with Tip's performance. Mm-hmm. This is not Ti, you know, it's it, it's not right. Tip Harris. It's Lou. It's Lou. It's Lou. It's Lou. And it's I think Lou. That, obviously you could have said they can't talk right. about this, but you right. can. Mm-hmm. And um, it's they're different. It's yes. a different Terrence J than we're used yeah. to. It's a different Andrew Bachelor than oh, we're oh, used you, to. Oh, you shit it on him. Oh, man. Ah. Oh, and, oh, ah. oh, oh, he do he, he you under the bus. I'm talking about that. Oh, you hear me? I said, I another round of jokes. I'm talking shirt. You hear me? I need another round. Immediately. And you can, because he was like, because you know, Lou would do this to us. I said, damn, this is some harsh And you can tell when you when you when you partner that you're supposed to be cool with, been yeah. harboring bad energy right, right. for a long time. Yeah, he been trying to get you. I've been, yeah. been yeah. waiting on this. Yeah. Yeah. He tried to get rid of you fast. I'm talking about for real. <laughs> you held it down, though. You were like, where he at? I trust you. Yeah, yeah. I got you. trusted him. Yeah, I don't want to say too much. I'm getting. No. Hey, look, man. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's a good thing, movie. You know, you weren't seeing Terrence J because I'm talking right. about every time we did a scene with him, like right. like a whole 45 seconds before action, right. he's in character. Who Terrence? Yeah, he's. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. You played this shit out this role. <laughs> nah, I, ain't, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Look, look, look. Action. <laughs> so, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, he, yeah. he didn't get paid enough because right. he worked way more than oh. he had to. Oh. He was in his character oh. Oh. at least an extra 45 seconds before everybody else. Oh, oh, so hold on. You was method acting? Nah, this man was... Oh. So, <laughs> Come right. on, man. Come on. I'm like, bro, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They fixing the And lights. you look you licked the shit out of her leg though too. No. <laughs> Yo, uh, I said, what is this, man? That was a delicious I chocolate said, Hold on. Hold on. When, when you, you your you, tongue came out and everything. I said, look at this shit. <laughs> Dio, you use that tape, man. <laughs> hey man. That was that's supposed to be the blueprint. I, I didn't know when, what I was when watching. When you're working, <laughs> when you're working with people like this, right? Uh-huh. Joseph, Joseph mm-hmm. is so like classically, like Joseph is an actor, actor, right? Yeah, yeah, I got time. He can come in and out of the scene, he can change things. He can, he, like, he's one of the finest actors I know, right? I respect that. And then Tip, who also has tons of years of acting, yes. tons of years of credibility on right. screen. Tip has a has a charm and a charisma about right. him right. that when he's when he's in that zone. So you're saying they made you step it up? He's on, yeah, he's unstoppable. Me, I'm not as as talented in that way. Mm. So I I work very hard to try to get myself in mm. there. You're every bit and as I, talented. I to, oh, you may not no, be as no, good. No, this is guys, right? Like, 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 I, I got I got to go all the way. In my in, opinion, you know damn. In uh, my opinion, cut him off. No, don't worry. Oh no, my first one. But in my opinion, 
like, like it, to me, uh, Marlon Wayne's been acting for years, but that sex tablets was like that. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah, like yeah. it kind of finally showed. I, I think this is the one for you, like because it kind of showed a, the range, a different side of you. Like you're always like the pretty boy. No offense, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like you're always like yeah. getting the girl. How can I be the mama's boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta do Get, something different. Getting the girl and you out here like getting bit. <laughs> you, you, you throwing niggas to die. You put niggas in the cellars. You like, you like, it's ill. Like you like, you're like, oh shit, you're not nice. And the end, you look at some legs. God damn it. Yeah, that's, that's bearded. That's the yeah, beard. Yeah, bearded. Yeah. I grew a full beard yeah. for this role. I had to do it. I seen the Beijing. I yeah, seen the yeah. Beijing. Ah. Pop <laughs> now, now, have you ever? Uh, 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 I'm sure, Tommy, like played a role so much. That you become that role? I, I, I haven't, and I think I, I base it on just coming from the theater, having a theater background and training. And right. that. I, also, my wife wouldn't put up with that shit. Okay. She's a Russian from Jersey, man. She'd kill me in my sleep. Holy shit, let's make a noise of Russians from Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, so, oh, shit, too. Okay, because one time, I, I, don't wanna, I don't know if I should say this guy's name, but I had, did a movie with him, um, and he, he just stayed in character. He was like... He just became the character, and the character was a, uh, a, 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 he was a breakout convict. So he was like a, he just stayed in, what, move the door, like, <laughs> all day. And at first I was saying to myself, hanging around him, what an idiot, right? Yeah. But then, I, I, acting is not my profession. But then when I started to see how people really are serious with this and people really make their whole lives with this, I was like, oh, okay, I, I got it. Have you ever been in this? Yeah, I feel like it, it, when I started off with Tommy, just like everything, I always said I kept Tommy as close as I needed to. Mm. Um, and then it's just like riding a bike. You, I also spent a long time, months and months, of being as much time as I needed to create that character, you know? Mm. And watching a ton of million 50 cent interviews. Uh, mm. drink, he's great on drink chance. Oh, God damn it, God uh, damn it. That's right, that's right. <laughs> so, uh, you know, so I did the research before I stepped it up. So when mm. people say, oh, that Tommy character, Tommy, oh, it's great to see how Tommy changed. I'm like, Tommy didn't change at all. Right. I mean, they changed right. the writing, they changed right. the situations, but that, that guy's the first guy, the first day of the first setup or the first take we ever did is the same Tommy when right. we ended the power show. I right. promise you that. Right. So they, the writers changed. Uh, I think that that's important for an actor to know. So. Yeah, like I, I kept Tommy as close as I needed to keep Tommy, and then uh, then you, you you flip it on, you flip it off. Also, like in the Fear movie, I feel like if I was always Rom and you know paranoid about stuff and always thinking because you're in a writer head, in the movie, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I was a writer right. and, and a researcher, and I'm researching at the right. at the thing. But I also this was an un this is an unprecedented thing during the height of COVID. That's, that, that's what I was going to ask. The funny thing is. Lou, T.I. character, the first one to get sick, right? You guys all take a text. Wait, 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 spoiler alert. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, my bad. But, but what's funny about it is he was the only one with a mask. <laughs> when he came in, when he came, when it, when we when we arrived, when you arrived, but at the, also at don't forget, the, don't forget there there is another a female character that also has a propensity of trying to mask up. But, 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 but who said I was sick? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Accusations. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um. So tip. Um. You from Atlanta? One of the biggest things going on is Young Thug and the Young Thug slash Gunner, right? Some people saying, ah, is this a little tricky? Uh-uh. Okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm is exasperated it, just hearing I don't even say, know what that means. <laughs> I got, I mean, <laughs> exasperated? I'm a guess. Yeah, overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. So go ahead. Nah, I'm saying, I'm, I'm waiting on you to finish. I, I was just... Yeah, because from the, the outside looking in, I can't make... Um, I can't place judgment because I guess I'm not in it, and I'm, I don't know how Atlanta law works. Nah, Atlanta, nah, the, the law is universal. Okay. So, how the about law, Tip? How did you feel when you when you heard it? I, I, I really, man, I hated to see it. Mm -hmm. I hated to see it. At the same time, I, man, I just hated to see it. Mm. Um, I really do feel that if things were explained a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. Or if he had had an opportunity to speak to someone who could advise him. Meaning Gunner? Or? Uh, yeah. Whomever's involved right. that might not like the outcome mm -hmm. of their decision. Right. If they could have spoke to somebody and somebody could have said, 
Now, you know, if you do this now, this this what this mean. Mm-hmm. I don't think if they would have had it, like, if they would have had that advice and they would have mm-hmm. had the opportunity to speak to somebody, I don't believe they would have made the same decision. However, we are all, you know, we, we are bound to our decisions and right. we can't escape that. Right. You know what I mean? But free, free, free slime. It seems like it was a war on New York at one point, right? Like all of us, like, you know, 50 has these stories of hip-hop police following him. And then, you know, obviously I have the same stories of, you know, things happening. But it's like, now it's like, they're not in New York. Now it seems like, seems like, from outside looking in, it seems like they're heavy on Atlanta because, is it partially because Atlanta's kind of like running the music business? Well, to be honest with you, even when, like with Hip Hop Cops and whatnot, okay, mm-hmm. they were in New York because that's where the action was. Yeah. It wasn't just that they focused on New York. Mm-hmm. You know, New York is what they were aware of. Mm-hmm. And so whatever they are aware of, that's what they going to focus on. Right. Um, right now they're aware of Atlanta. I mean, they're aware of everything with, with the social media and everybody <laughs> like, you know, just kind of on the... They're aware of all of it. You know what I mean? So it, it spread out. One thing that's funny about the case, um, in any other case, except for Meek Mill, in any other case, we always say, you know, it's the white people holding us back and it's the white people doing this. The DA is black. The prosecutor's black. The judge is black. It's like, damn. Ah, uh, man. It hurts. Man, I just want, I just miss my partner, man. Very you know what I'm saying? Bro, bro. I just miss my partner. I mean, we could get into the minutia, the politics, yeah. the bureaucracy, but when it all said and done, I just miss my little brother, man. I remember seeing bro come from nothing. I remember Thug with the fucked up teeth, with, wow. the, with, the, with the gappy dreads, with wow. the, you know what I'm saying, figuring out what to wear, mm-hmm. doing what he could, and turning that into something so... I mean, just so, so, so substantial that he could offer other people opportunities. And made other people rich. And made other people rich. I think. And successful. I believe he he probably has reached back more than anybody Mm. in any generation. Like, like genuinely just Mm. reached back and just did out the kindness of his heart. You know what I mean? Um, And I just, I just miss my partner. I done got more. And I, I done got more thank yous from Thug mm. than I have from some of my own artists. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And thank you for just being you. I done got more appreciation. I mean, nah, he he kind of considered, he like, yo, bro, you were the first major artist mm-hmm. to, to rock with me, to believe in me. You were mm-hmm. the first one. I guess, he, uh, you know, with, with about the money, like that was a major look for mm-hmm. him. Uh, at least, you know, according to him. And he, you know, just always expressed like hear gratitude and and that's more than I received from a lot of my own artists that's on my label that mm-hmm. you know I had a hand in their career for real. Mm-hmm. And he just was a re- he he a real good dude, bro. And I don't think everything that's going on around, bro, man, I think it's a test. You right. know, it's a test and it's gonna become his testimony. All he gotta do is continue to stand tall and stay silent. And uh I believe God gonna work everything out. Mm. Yeah, God bless us. Say, oh, free, free young brother. Free thug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how did you how did you get approached fair? Like, how, how did um would your agent call you? How does this happen? Uh, no, this is one of those great opportunities when um you actually build your own community of people that you that you love and trust. And as mm. Tip uh, alluded to before, I'm you. I'm not scared to use words around you. Right, but go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, no problem. Um, we, 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 we got a dictionary. <laughs> yeah, we got a dictionary. Um. um I got a call from Dion Taylor, the great mm. Dion Taylor, mm-hmm. uh, in- incredible uh, filmmaker, uh, cinema cinema tour, and uh, he just gave me a call. It was July of 2000, right. 2000 2020. It's just at, uh, at the height of COVID. We were three months in, and he's just like, yo, Jay, I got this idea. And I was like, all right, man, break it down for me. What are we doing? <laughs> and so he kind of told me about the film, and I was like, all right, all right, all right. I said, what do you want me to do? He said, I, you know, I'm like, I'm not flying. He's like... Get a car. It's like, all right. So I drove from Brooklyn to to Lake Tahoe and I had some fun. Me, my wife. Where did y'all say is that? Where did y'all say the, the thing is that? It was in Tahoe. It was in Strawberry, California. Yeah, oh, right okay. Outside, okay. Right, right outside of Tahoe. Probably about 30, 45 minutes. From, probably yeah. from here to from here to Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, how did you get uh, the movie approach? So, so Dion Taylor is a is a mastermind. He's also mm. a madman. Okay, he calls you early in the morning, late at night, that's, that's with all. ideas. And he sells you, right? right. So he'll call you, Terrence, you know, I've been thinking about you, man. You know, you know, you, you just, you know, you, you're really talented and people love you. And, you know, we know you from being like the mama's boy in the 106. But, like, I think you need to dig deeper, man. We got to do a role that just is different from anything that you ever done, man. I want you to be an asshole in this movie. I want you to be a bad guy. I want people to hate you in this film. And so he he he, he sells you in that way. And I get off the phone. I'm, and by the time I talk to my agents, they like, you committed to doing a three-picture deal with Dion? I'm like, yeah, we're doing movies. Wow. And and before you know it, we're on set. But so without, it's a three-picture deal? I'll see no, 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 I, oh. probably, I probably did, okay. uh, knowing Dion. Okay, okay. Um, but the, the beautiful thing about D is that he brought everybody to the table. All of us are producers. Mm. All three of us mm. are, you know, profit, participation, producers mm. Mm. at the table. So when uh. this does well, when this grows, mm. whatever happens, we're in we're, 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 we're incentivized by having a real seat at the mm, table. They call it on the cap table. Yeah, yeah and there's yeah. not a lot of, you know, people in his position as a director that offer that, right? right. And then it becomes, once you get that as a precedent, it's a, it's a trickle-down effect. So now I've been producing so many films, it's been a back-to-back -back thing for me, mm. but it's like you need those opportunities. So that's what I love about this film. That's what I love about it is that, you know, all of us had, you know, part of the creative. All of us mm. had a say in it. it. It was a very collaborative, very open process. And when you're dealing with a director and, and producer like D, it, it, it really is a great environment. Make some noise for that. Yeah. And, and why, why you gotta be the only ghetto one with a plastic cup, man? Hey man well, hey Come man, on, we done stepped it up. We got bartenders. I'm the co-host, man. I'm the co-host. Co you can't tell me what to do. Wait a minute. I'm the co-host now. Uh, man, I was listening no, to... No, but how did you get the approach for the, to do the movie? That's what I was just about to say. Okay, I was cool. listening to Terrence talk, and it yeah. was so... I was, it was phenomenal, uh, <laughs> the, the conversation that he had. And I, I loved it so much. Uh. That I remember that that's the same conversation that he had with me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, man, real talk, man. Dion hit my line uh, around the same time, uh, sometime late summer in uh, 2020, height of, height of the pandemic. Um, and Dion and I have talked about several, doing several projects together. Right. Um, but this one... Like the other projects, is like, yo, I got an idea that's coming up. It's gonna be, we're gonna be shooting soon. And mm -hmm. this one is like, no, 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 no. This is this week. Right. Like now. Okay. I say, man. In COVID. No, yeah. I say, ain't nobody shooting no <laughs> right. movies, Dion. Right. What is you? Right. We, I got a crew. <laughs> right. If you could get here, <laughs> we gonna shoot this movie. Right. I say, damn. Okay. <laughs> you know, I was impressed. You right, know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like this, is, I like his. You style. had to get tested every three days. Yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Every day that we shot. Every day. Every day you shoot. The but CDC you, didn't have guidelines yet. Oh. Dion Taylor and Roxanne Event made up guidelines. They called the CDC and said. Uh, can we shoot a movie? And they're like, uh, I don't know, can you? And uh, they, they put together this list of, of uh, guidelines of what they suggested that they do. Then Dion and Roxanne brought that to the WGA, the DGA, and SAG. Mm. And then SAG said, uh, everybody said, uh, okay, like if everybody will sign off on that, you could do this movie. Right. They had to, they had, we had to get tested every day that we mm. filmed. Oh, and this wow. is when they tickled your brain. And then oh, they would yeah. do the sample, and then somebody would drive mm. from Tahoe to Los Angeles to get the test results, and then you would, and then it would go like this, and somebody would drive back with the res and then somebody would do that. So that we oh y'all was living rough. Let's make some noise for y'all. Yeah. I filmed, I filmed Love and Hip Hop and Marriage Boot Camp during the thing, and I had to test every three days. So it was Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for both shows. You know, I was filming both at the same time. One didn't believe the other. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it wasn't like, I can say, yo, I just passed it, yeah, I love yeah, hip hop, yeah. and then what's it, what's it called, it will let me go. Yeah. That's how crazy COVID was. I remember it got so crazy here. Pharrell made all of us take a test before he came. And then he walked through and just sat here. I was like, nigga, shit, you take a test too? <laughs> what have you given to us? I'm sorry, Pharrell. I've been had to say you can just saw my chest. <laughs> oh, that's why he had the mask on. <laughs> yeah, at first, yeah. Ah. At first, and then he took a couple of shots. The mask was gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Nah, so, but we, we, had a, we had a phenomenal time, and I think mm -hmm. that us coming together and choosing to do that, one, one, we were so happy to be around other people. Right. Right. We were, we were so happy to, to, to be acting. 
Right. To be, you know, doing the film when they were saying that the, the movie industry might not ever return. You right. know what I mean? Right. Um, and and I think that faith we put in each other, that camaraderie we built, you know, we and and, and the place is really haunted. Yeah. Like, oh, nah, it was real. real. Like, nah, it was real. Nah, it was real. Oh, y'all selling the movie now? Yeah. Oh, no, is nah, it, nah, it, I was telling you. Listen, why y'all selling the movie? It was that, real that, shit that, going that on. It's looking bro. crazy, though. It's I ain't gonna lie. Strawberry Lodge, Lodge is haunted. Right. For, for real. Wow. Wow. That story that he told about, yeah. the, about the Bruja and the witches and the, yeah. the go that's real. <laughs> All right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's real, bro. It was, it was so remote. We shot this film in this remote cabin area, right? Uh -huh. And. Tip was oh, the, I like the movie. I'm so yeah, the only the only one that did. Everybody stayed like on this little compound of a strip, except for Tip. He had this mansion that was like 30 uh, minutes that's away. Right, got that. away right? That's so right. Tip had to come across the. the <laughs> to but, but we hey. were staying in this thing. Uh -huh. Like all of our house was connected. Yo, there was. I, I lifted up the bed sheet. There was spiders that came out. Now remember me. that? You remember that? No, real talk. There were spiders that came out. And strange bugs and, too. Yeah, there strange was, bugs. There was strange bugs. Yeah, there was noises and all that. And I was like, man, like, do I stay in it? And D was like, live in the moment. Live <laughs> in it. Take it. It's like, this is all for your kid. I was like, yo. What the fuck? So, so you was you was in fear. I was in fear. You was in fear. Okay, I was, okay. I was, you know, all the fear was going after this movie because mm -hmm. we were sleeping with spiders and cobwebs and all of that. But when you look at the finished project, it's all right. there. It's all on the screen. Like right. everybody at this point of, of the pandemic, it was so early on in the pandemic. Nobody was shooting anything yet. Right. Nothing was happening. So there was like the real emotional fear taking place in real life, and all of that reflects in this movie. This is the scariest movie of the year. And, yes. uh, Scariest movie. Everybody was scared of that. In addition to the fear that we had done put our money up and we didn't know what was going to happen. We had no idea if we was even going to finish this motherfucker. Right. You know, we didn't know if someone would get sick and, and the shit would get shut down. Or, mm. You know, we just... Yeah, because if one person got sick on if that one set, got sick, oh, the whole it, 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 set everyone, shut everyone, down. right? Nobody got Similar sick. Similar to like the movie. Nobody yeah. got like, sick. Like, yeah. so once one person got sick, you try to get yeah. rid of everyone. No yeah. negative. Yeah. No spoiler alert. I'm sorry. Shit. Oh shit, my fault. And the way they gonna go watch this. Geez. But where's this movie coming out on? I That's the part I didn't establish. Only so in movies. Only in theaters. theaters. Only in theaters. theaters. January 27th, oh, okay. only in theaters. Oh. And you can go to fear.movie, type it into your any search engine, and it'll bring you to the page if you want to buy tickets early. Oh. So, so mo most films. So we go right? back to old school. Yeah. The movie, the popcorn. Yeah. Most yeah. films. Box popcorns songs. and Almond Joys. Box yeah. Come on. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. Most okay. films will have like a studio, right? Okay. The studio. But they don't got Almond Joy no more? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, for real? <laughs> nah, man. They still got Almond Joy. You the old motherfucker. They still got Almond Joy. <laughs> oh, still raise the next. Raise the next. Raise the next. And as the oldest person at this table, I'll say 100 grand. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, okay. 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 So, so, so you're saying, in, the, in the studio system, you know, you'll, you'll come with the scripts. Mm -hmm. They'll come in. They'll give you the money. You'll mm -hmm. have a backing, right? There'll be a, you know, right. a, a support of backing, right? right? This was all self-financed. This right. was all, right. you know, us putting the money on to shoot this project. Right. So when we put it out in theaters, mm -hmm. there's, there's, it's just a world of possibilities. You right. know what I'm saying? This is right. not just going to a streaming service. Right. It's not on TV. This is like in the theaters, mm. real, you know, theatrical release. That's fire. That's fire. Yeah. I'm proud to hear that. I'm proud to hear that. Let's make some noise for that. Right, we're going to do a quick, quick, we're going to do a game. It's called Quick Time with Slime. Usually EFN explains the rules. He's not here today. I'm going to fuck up the rules, but I'm going to try, <laughs> I'm going to try my best to explain it. We give you a question. If you be politically correct and you pick both, or you say neither, then you take a shot. Or you can say, you know, you, you, pick, you can pick one. If you pick one, if you pick one you don't take a shot. Pretty, pretty cool? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. You didn't do that bad. Cool, cool. <laughs> should we, should okay. we, should we okay. set up the shots beforehand? Yes, 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 please. So, um, and you look like, that look like you, you on vodka, right? Fucking yeah. Okay, boom. And it looked like you was on tequila. tequila. Okay, okay. And it looked like you was on tequila as well. Ooh. So let's get them tequila up. I'm going to get Ciroc out. I'll take De Leon. Woo! You know what I'm saying? Come hey, on, round baby. Round of applause for a black Come man. On, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What type of Ace of Spades, Ace of Spades. What type of Ace of Spades? What type of Ace of Spades? What type of Ace of Spades? What type of Ace of 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 What type of
<laughs> I, the best thing I know how to say in French is Chance Luze. And I know I'm not saying oh, come that. Come on, correct. you can say voulez vous vous avec moi. Voulez vous vous avec moi. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I knew I knew that. Okay, we ready? All right. Mm. Starting with Tiff first, of course. Whoa. The biggest boss here. I'm the host. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, but not right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know where you're going to go with this one. Tupac or DMX? You drinking? Yeah, just for this, this is the fair cast, so y'all gotta drink with him. If he got drink, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Listen, uh, by the way, I'm drinking with y'all too. Cheers. cheers. Uh, uh, by the way, I that, drank because I love Pac. Yes, I love Pac. I feel like you know he 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 put he instilled a lot of my principles and a lot of the I guess the dichotomy of my personality come from you know him. Uh, however, as an artist, at least, mm -hmm. however. I actually got to meet DMX personally. Right. DMX came to my house. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. I never, you know, I can't I can't chew one over the other. Yeah, I respect that. That's why they picked it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. We're gonna keep this going. <laughs> Scarface or ice cube? Oh, man, Cuba hate me, but I got to go with Scarface, especially since he makes an appearance in the movie. Uh, almost. I mean, we got we got some love. We got some love, and that's not a, any kind of giveaway, so I'm going to go with Scarface. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Do I, do Mine's I get, playing tricks on me. Shot? Nah, you don't, you don't, <laughs> yeah, you don't have to drink on that Okay, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got to skip you on this one. Okay. But I'm coming right back that to works. you. That works. That works. Wait a minute. What that means... Cause nah. this, this is, because I, I feel like this, is, I feel like this one is designed for you, uh, you and I know, I know what you're gonna say, but I'm just still gonna throw it to you anyway. Organized noise or Wu Tang Clan? I know the landing you gonna say. Hey, listen, bro. Let me just first of all, let me say, um, I have an enormous amount of genuine. Appreciation and respect for the Wu Tang Clan. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh, I watched the show. Yes. I respect the roots. It's about uh, Hulu. Yeah, on Hulu. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched the show. Two, uh, two, two seasons of it at least. Mm -hmm. I respect the roots. Mm -hmm. I respect the brotherhood. Uh, Organized Noah put me like in the game. They were the first to welcome me on their tour bus mm. and allow me. Mm. To perform on the 99 Source Awards camera blocking rehearsal with mm. them. I can't, I can't go against organized noise at all. I know. Uh, but not due to a lack of respect and admiration for the Wu. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with organized noise by a landslide on that one. Well, landslide, protect your neck. Nah, <laughs> I see what you did there. Nah, I have to, man. Anybody who had a personal kind of who reached their arm out to me, but when nobody else knew who I was and knew what I had going on, man, that's lifetime appreciation. So exceptions are made for exceptional circumstances. God nice damn try. It. God damn it. That was also a perfect answer. <laughs> I'm going to bounce around. Y'all tell me when to go back. I'm going to bounce around a little bit because I feel like this is more of a you question. Fab or Jada Kiss? I know you party with Fab more. <laughs> Fab or Jada Kiss? The world I'm, is watching, I'm, Terrence. Just. <laughs> when you talk about New York City... I'm going with Capone and Noriega. Oh. See you, man. Oh. That, was, that, was a, that was a cheat code. That was a cheat code. Oh. Hey, that man pulled one, that no, man pulled one that. out of that, didn't he? All right. CNN, baby. Al, Al Pacino or Robert De Niro? Mm. Uh, man, that's tough. Get your shot. I, I think I think I probably need a refill. Only yeah. be, and then not because I don't want to choose. I want to choose one of them. It's like just for the body of work. I mean, I'm thinking right now. The first Dog Day Afternoon came up in my mind. 
And that's brilliant performance. But then oh, heat comes God. up in my mind, and they just yeah, kill yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not heat for me. Yeah, because oh, that's Scarface. Yeah. Yeah, Scarface. My oh. God, Scarface. Scar Sin of a woman. Night. Son of a woman. Yeah, that's who I, but that's kind of the beginning of the Al Pacino era where he's just Al Pacino in every role. Right. Mm. And not God just because I it's a, good, it's, a good trick. it's a good trick. Carlito's way. Godfather. Carlito's way. What are we kidding ourselves? Let's just take a shot. Salud. Salud. It's a trick question anyway. I'm like, I'm like, why are everybody at this table so tough? I was thinking meet the Falkers. I love oh, the Nero. Uh, I love the range. The, I love the, the, I love the, the range the, of the Nero. The intern. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Inter like, I, the shit. thing for me, like, I love, I love Rings. So I would, I would always put De Niro Devil's above Devil's Pacino Devil's for me. Devil's okay. Even though I love, I mean, Pacino is legendary, obviously, but I love that De Niro has so much range. He got comedy, he got thrillers, he got dramas, like, he got all we of could, We could so stay here all day. What's the Jimmy yeah. Hoffa movie? Like Jimmy Hoffa Pacino, movie? Pacino, chill like De Niro, Irish Black right. Gambino, Die God Like damn. a Hero. Yeah, yeah, God damn. You know what I mean? It's, it's tough to choose. It is. It is. Terrence, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Justin Timberlake or Justin Bieber? Ooh. <laughs> We're drinking now. <laughs> <laughs> These are my Tim producer's questions. Timberlake or <laughs> Bieber? That's such a... How did we get here? I don't know. <laughs> uh... Back to your 106 and Park roots, I, 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 I would presume. <laughs> Yo, if, if there's one thing about me, I'm going to be political. Shots up. Okay. Oh, Salo, Salo. Salo. Hey, man, I'm not going to keep taking shots. Hey, man. Can... It's a part of the guest obli obligations. And co-hosts. Mm. Co-hosts obligations. Okay. Who about the key? Yep, yep. Drummer Boy or Just Blaze? Can you stop being for Atlanta for one minute? Um, first and foremost, I'll have you know we will let the record show. Drummer Boy is from Memphis. Ooh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Drummer Boy from Memphis. He, you know, what I'm that's saying? right. Um, okay. He rocked with a lot of, um, with um, a lot of um, us. Rest in peace, Gangsta Buto. Yeah, awesome. right on. He rocked with a lot of us in Atlanta, and he's welcome. Right. You know, he's been embraced by the town, but he's truly from Memphis. Right. Um, still a part of the city, though. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Can't take that from. Him. Even still, I'm going to go back to my personal, like, me and Blaze that had hits. Mm -hmm. You know, even outside of, like, big hits, sort of like um, Live Your Life, like, he did, like, like two or three of my intros to my albums in wow. a row. You know what I'm wow. saying? Me and Blaze, we have, we have a, a, a more, a, I guess, a more intimate working artistic relationship. Than, than drum boy and I, so I'm, I'm gonna go with Just Blaze. Oh wow! Oh shit! Yeah, I'm gonna okay. go with Just Blaze. Just to take a shot, just for doubting you. I'm gonna go. Go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not. You do I'm that. Doing, you do I'll that. I do this by myself. You I'm do nervous. that. There you go. Round of applause, man. What's yeah. 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 Taking the shot that without us. I would have right. bet. I would have bet. Wrong. Okay. And what is it? So why? What, what, why do you think that I'm just gonna automatically just go with someone just because? Because me and you got a, me and you got a movie that we're planning on doing. Uh, yeah. Us in space. Yeah. And your character is the dude that's always from Atlanta, and right. I'm the dude that's always from New York. No matter right. what we do, even that's in real. space. So I just always but visualize. But those you are like characters. That. Those though. are characters. Yeah. Okay. But I, I'm, I'm method acting right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd okay. like to produce this. <laughs> yeah, ah. What y'all called it? When you, when you when you put your money in is um, profit for participation. I yeah, understand yeah, what yeah. that means. Uh, first dollar gross. Okay. Because I think you're gonna be politically correct. Yay or Pharrell? Ah, oh, that's man. tough. I know we're drinking now. So back to the last question. I'm gonna go with Justin Bieber. Ah. Oh, you, you, know what I'm you gotta take a shot. I'm gonna go back. If you retract your statement, that's a shot for that I mistake. Think, I think you gotta. I think you gotta. <laughs> but you gotta like you have to do a shot of like. For net or something. How did I go back? I thought yeah, I was buying. My, I thought I was buying points for future. No, no, <laughs> no, no. Hmm. Are we talking? Uh -huh. What are we this, talking? This is a shot. No, 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 no. <laughs> Are we talking? Are we talking? You got some shitty shots over here. Are we talking you. music? <laughs> are we talking overall? I'm you. <laughs> no criteria. Yeah, it's, no criteria, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm gonna take my shot. Right, take, take your shot. shot. Come on, look, look. Take That's the shot, though, Sarah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two different things. For fear, for fear. Listen, for, I, come this on. is the most Salute. legitimate this shot so far. Exactly. Okay, my man. Yep. You ready? Yeah. Snoop Dogg or 50 Cent? 50 Cent. 
Damn, that's Whoa, that. That's that look. Yeah. <laughs> that's that look you see right there, boy. I almost heard that. I fuck with Joe, man. Joe A, man. So, look, all right, I'm going to throw you a curveball, though. Okay. T.I. and 50 go up. Oh, I want to see the verses. I'm there for the verses. I'm about the verses. Let's see the verses. You ain't let me ask the question. Okay. (laughs) You know, there's the red ring and there's the blue ring. Yeah, yeah. 50 and the red ring. T.I. in the blue ring. Where's Joseph C. that? Mm. Damn. Mm. Don't do that to him, man. No, I mean, first off, we're drinking. That's <laughs> unfair. Uh, that's so unfair. That's so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, would, I will give a shout out to, to 50 Cent uh, because this came up recently. Is that 50 Cent is the best boss I've ever had. Wow. Uh, he's, he's incredibly loyal. Yeah. Uh, here's a word for you, Nor. He's didactic. Ooh. Um, he just so he means he, he likes to teach. He brings people up around him. Um, uh, Fifth Fifth is a great person. Uh, I don't want to get on his bad side. What? Uh, but uh, see, I just get you a pass. He's like, but, <laughs> but and, and, and he did. And then working with Tip, you see somebody who's like, I, I gotta give. Tip credit on being when ATL came out, I was like, nah. And then you watch it and you're like, this guy's a fucking great actor. Well, his roller Period. skating here. Yeah. At Period. first, his roller skating Period. was shaky. And, and, then, and he learned on the set. And then on and, and then on and on from there. And Never only stepped it up as an actor. Skate. And I always respect, I was so happy when he did this film. And then to work with him, uh-huh. he's a, a wonderful, kind person. After I broke my kneecap, I appreciated Tip. Uh got me uh Thank you. I could, not, I, could, I could not have made it out alive I without it. you. I get it. You said enough. Are we so, taking a shot? So let's take a shot. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Come on. Salud. Salud. Yeah, Salud. Uh, Joseph shot the movie with a broken kneecap, by the way. The whole movie. Wow. Eight, eight and he's days walking of it. Eight the whole days movie. Oh, you're, like, you're, like, you're like one of them basketball players that play with their ACL still fucked up. That's how this was. Yeah, this was because it was also COVID, and they were like, huh. "Oh, you should go to the hospital." I said, "No way." Yeah, they're dying to die. We, had to, the we, we yeah. had to get them some other forms of cortisone. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Holy shit! I, I wasn't ready. Through. We made it through. And I remembered my lines. Okay. Thank you. Come on, bro. All right. There you go. Eddie Murphy Ooh. or Martin Lawrence. Oh, man. You got a leftover shot. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to answer this. Uh, I'm going to say Eddie Murphy. Okay. Martin, Martin had a lot of influence on me. I grew up in the Martin generation. I grew up watching. Martin! Yeah, but, I'm the man. but I, I think Eddie, I mean, I think Martin would say Eddie. And I think, like, I think we got to make sure we give our icons their flowers. Right. And Eddie is a huge icon. And Eddie has a movie called You People coming out on the Ooh, same day. Right. As on Netflix. Fear yes. On Netflix. Yes. So we got to, you know, right. I love Martin. And right Lauren now, London, I'm, by the way. And Lauren Eddie London. Eddie is in Lauren there too. London. Yeah. Right. yeah cause, Nia Long. Because Nia Jonah Hill. Lauren London is playing um, Jonah Hill. Yeah. Um, yeah. You say what now? Jonah Hill. Yeah. Who uh, is? Lauren London is playing. Lauren jo- London and Jonah Hill are yeah. a couple. Yeah. yeah. Eddie and Nia Long are Lauren's parents. And then you have Louise. Nia uh, Long been outside lately. Let's Julie be clear. Louise Dreyfus. Nia Long been outside lately. Listen. Right? Nia Long must be protected at all. She's going to grab, oh, gonna grab Terrence's mean, hand on the red carpet. Yeah. Is he single? Am I the host or am I a guest? No, I'm asking. Point? I'm asking, am I a host? You a host and a guest. I'm a host now. I need to know what in this capacity am I operating. I need to know, I need to know what hat I'm putting on. Oh, okay. No, you got on both hats, sir. You always have on a lot of hats, my nigga. All right. Well, All right. Listen, as as uh as a member of the cast in fear, mm-hmm. I'm I'm a reserve. My side. Oh, the near long side. Okay, I respect that. No, nah, I was just saying because when <laughs> near long man, she been keeping company lately. Yeah, she no, been no, 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 no. First, yeah, I mean her. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just realized 
what was happening. <laughs> Nia Long is like a sister. Nah, I'm just joking, I'm joking bro. Yeah, she but, my sister. But, she but, my sister, but too. Like, hey, listen, listen. Yeah, I'm listen. just saying. If, if Nia Long ever goes to open a door, anybody should make sure her door right. is open. I'm open the door. That, that is a, yeah. She is an is. icon, and yeah. it must be protected and respected and deserve, If she want to be outside, she deserves to be outside, god damn it. Absolutely nothing romantic. Like, no, that's family. Nah, but look, though. That's family. That's and that just goes to show you how much preposterous nature it goes into the headlines. Yes! Exactly. People yeah. put false narratives out there. Oh my yeah. God. You feel me? All right. Yeah, we got to go to you now. Nino Brown. Mm. Easy. Or Tony Montana. Nino Brown. Ooh. Mm. I respect that. Easy. This should this should have went to him, but I'm sending it to you because oh, I want to no, be awkward. No, 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 no. This one, I got, I got a different <laughs> one for you. Jeezy or Gucci Man? Mm. That is tough. Man, I kind of want to have a shot anyway. <laughs> you got one ready? Yeah, it. yeah. I, let's let's take a shot, but I gotta give. Also, let me give a, a shout out to Jeezy because okay, he, that, about, that, you gotta be able to me. bump in this game. Like yes. if your partner, somebody yeah. gotta be able to step in. No, 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 no. Ain't no tag yeah. team. Come on, take your shot though. I'm just it's saying, you this, is, this shot is a dangerous shot. You know we There's got some shit shots. to do after this, right? Oh shit, yeah. This you know it's this, the most. This, this, this ain't the last stop. We got some more stuff to do. This is important. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, oh, okay. Nipsey or Easy E? Nipsey. The more shots I take, the faster my response is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nipsey, Nipsey. I mean, it, I, I, obviously, it, yeah. it kind of goes back to what you were saying. I knew Nip personally. Right. Right. Nip was a man of respect. He's a man I admired when he was here. He was. Um, you, you know, everybody has a lot of things that they Thank they you. appreciate about him. I want to take the time out to appreciate how fly Nip was. Mm. I remember, um, you remember that Rock Nation brunch? You had the yellow, you remember you had that yellow suit on? I do. Mm -hmm. Yo, your man Nip came through mm. with that. He had that, it was like that two-tone pink on, uh, he had that pink shirt. Let's with call the, it mauve. Mauve. <laughs> he had the me? mauve uh, <laughs> shirt with the jacket. You know what wow. I'm saying? Came through, and it, and uh, obviously he's he's super smart, intellectual, yeah. philosophical. But yo, he was fly. That dude was fly. fly. He would come fly. in fresh to death. He was funny. He was yeah. fly. I gotta go with Nipsey Hussle. Definitely. Okay. I would I would like to take some time to just point out how courageous in business he was. Right. You know what I mean? Because there's already like a template or a protocol. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like an outline in, in, in ways the industry has kind of put forth for us to do business. Mm -hmm. um, and he challenged that protocol. Yes, he did. You dig what I'm saying? I remember him calling me, asking me how I turned, you know, my merch item, the Hustle Gang sweatshirt, mm -hmm. into an entire line. The A Coup? Well, no. A Coup was already in okay. existence. Okay. This was my second line. Okay. Uh, Hustle Gang. Mm -hmm. Um and he was like, yo, bro, how you do that? And I, I basically told him, and I, I went and found some people who could do the marketing and distributions mm -hmm. and who could handle the sales department uh, so I could focus on other things. And he said, well, well you, got a, you got a spot in Atlanta? I said, no, nah, because, and to be honest with you, this is, still, this is still a thing. 16 years into a partnership, still a thing. My partners don't want to do retail at all, but I think we should have a flagship store in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, he was like, well, why you don't do, like, why you ain't got no, you know, no spot in the A? Mm -hmm. I was like, bro, you know, partners don't want to do it. I don't really, you know, I just, I got so much other stuff I'm working on. I watched him take that conversation and went and did the exact opposite of what I told wow. him I was doing. Wow. He didn't find a partner. He learned marketing. He learned distribution. He learned sales. Mm. And he, 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 he made bought a property that made a flagship store, like the home base. Mm. And he, he was the first person I seen use a, a, a QR code. You know what I'm saying? Like how we go to a restaurant yeah. and take a picture of whatever we looking at and we get the menu. Mm -hmm. Like he was the first person I seen really do that effectively. What was he was doing that with? 
He was doing that at the Marathon store. Like, oh, that's how wow. you can learn about the items and get the pricing oh, and shit. You okay, go in there, okay. you... And he I think had, Snoop got that on his bottles of wine right now. Yes, like you, 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 yes. You, you, but to me, yeah. the first person I saw do it was Nip. Wow. And that shit wow. was just so impressive to me. It was just so impressive. I yeah. knew Nip. I didn't know him as well as you guys. But I'm always impressed when the stories I hear because, like, he always, like, showed me love and told me, like, you know, um, so, so, like, you know, like, like when I, every time I met him, he made it about me. He's like, yo, no, you know, man, I looked, and I, I was like, I, I remember me being shocked because I'm not used to that, this young generation doing that. Right. I'm not used to them showing the love back. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so, yeah, rest in peace, uh, Nips. Um, right. I'm going to go to you. Huh? I'm going to go to you. Eminem? We're done with this. No, 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 no. we almost done. Eminem or Busta Rhymes? You know what? Come Thank on, you for that. Thank you. What are you doing now, bro? This is like Eminem. Hey, what's Tommy, up, what my man? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, man, so... <laughs> I'm going to go Busta Rhymes. I'm going to go Busta Rhymes, not because I don't have an enormous amount of respect and admiration for him, uh, but Bust. He, like, we done spoke recently. You know what I'm saying? We done spoke recently. We were in Dubai together. <laughs> we had a bit of adversity to overcome, but we overcame it together as a family. Um, not, not Dubai. I'm sorry. Saudi Saudi. Arabia. Saudi. You, we're I'm calling, sorry. right? Yeah. Yeah. You ain't smoking um, weed out there. And he, he, no, man. You know, you can, you know, you know that's frowned yeah, upon yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking with you. You know, can't nobody <laughs> do no shit like that out there. Okay. Who would do a thing like that? Come on, man. Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> you going to feed into the propaganda. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 nah, no. Right, I'm asking. I'm, still, I'm just curious. Nah, anyway. So, mm -hmm. man, Buzz has always been a brother to me. He's another one of the guys that, you know, um, mm -hmm. you, you, you see in the game that when you speak to him, and you try to show him all this admiration, all this love and respect, mm. and he turn it back and make the conversation be about you. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, he yeah. does. He does. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I bet you if you ask Bust the same question, he would say, or if you ask M the same question, right. he would say Bust. Yeah. I, I feel you. I feel you. I mean, yeah, but, M is dope like that. Man, yeah. M, to, to M to me, though, I feel like, let, let it be made perfectly clear, he don't have to fuck with nobody. But... But still, he does. Right. You see what I'm saying? I love his speech. So I gotta admire. I gotta show some admiration to him and, and salute him for that. Did you see his speech where he just thanked all them hip hop pioneers. It just made my respect for him go mm. through the roof. Yeah, he like. I think it was the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm, I'm not sure. Was it? Yeah. And he got up there where he could he could thank like anybody in the world. And he out there just thanked all the hip hop pioneers like Ice Cube, LL, and it was just like. It was just like so dope, like you know what I mean. Like it sound like him though. Yeah, it, it, yeah. it, it was. It was dope. And I was also impressed when I went to do my record with him, and I saw how much of a business he worked his shit like a Fortune 500 office. Mm. Sessions with with Nori mm. gonna be like okay, 8 p.m., 10 p.m. Yeah. Sessions with Tip, yeah. session with Tip might be yeah. you know anywhere from 6 p.m. to midnight. Session with him. 9.30 a.m. Oh, no, I'm like that. He's about this motherfucker at 5.36 p.m. Yeah. And that's that. And and I, you know, I learned that from him, that way of, yeah. you know, kind of applying your time yeah. in the same yeah. time of daylight. Me and Pharrell other, back in the day would be 9 o'clock at night. Me and Pharrell, 10, 10 a.m. We old men with kids. <laughs> 10 a.m., <laughs> goddammit. Hell what? yeah. yeah. Pharrell and I had the same working hour, but but mm -hmm. but I was on I was on work release, you know what I'm saying? I was kind of like clocking out of oh Jesus, uh, and then coming and which is a crazy story that applies to to BMF that we could talk about because that's another fifty show. Uh -huh. We'll do that another time. Yeah, okay. Great seconds, great seconds. Okay, season, by the way, Carlito Way or Donnie Brasco? Pinchy Way. Um. That's a tough one too. My God, I love both of them movies. I'm gonna say, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna say Carlito's way. Yeah, me too. Okay, all right. You ain't got to take a shot for that. Yeah, that means you pick one. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> that's how fucked up we've been. We've been taking shots for everything. Okay, Timberland or Swiss? Ooh. Damn. I'm gonna go with the monster. 
Swiss. I'm going to go with Swiss Beats the Monster. Okay. I love Tim. Love. But and, I'm going to go with Swiss Beats. Personal records that really okay. changed my life. Go Swiss. That's what's up. Miami or L.A.? <laughs> So the name of this... <laughs> we went this way. But this segment... Ah, the the name of this pun, I know, but the name of this segment is Rapid Fire. Yeah, right? no, Quick Time with Slime. <laughs> quick yeah, Time yeah. with Slime? Yeah, yeah. Bruh, we been on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> How many rounds is it? Yeah, it's it's, it's meant to get the guests fucked up. It's just, God, yeah. damn. You can't, you can't be blowing bro. us up. You on, on this side and that side. You well, gotta play both sides. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm just asking. Um... I'm gonna take a shot. Bro. Okay. Take a okay. Shot. Damn, what was that for? Oh, Miami or LA? All right, I respect that. Come on. Salud. Yeah. Salud, Cass. I'm gonna take a shot, man. Yeah. Okay, man. I'm gonna go uh, relieve my. Yeah, yeah, go I'll ahead. Be right back. All right, yeah, that's cool. You got your other. <laughs> they gonna hold it down for you. You did. Yeah. All right. Young Thug or Kodak Black? Uh, I'm gonna go Young Thug. Ooh. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you go past uh -huh. that one. <laughs> This is easy for you. You rather be feared or loved? Oof. I want the love. I want the yeah. love too. I can't the get love. enough. I want the love, love too. Can I, can I comment on that real quick? That yeah. there's everybody always lies to you and says that it's better to be feared than be loved. That is such bullshit. It's better to be loved so much yes. that people are afraid to let you down. God damn it! Wow. God damn it! I want the love. God damn it! Oh, that was dope. That was dope. That was probably the best answer. Raekwon or Ghostface? Oh my God! <laughs> I know my answer, but I should probably drink. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm drink with you. I ain't letting you out there by yourself. Salud. You can skip this one, Terrence. <laughs> Terrence, you look like you was coming from Eddie Murphy's show right now. <laughs> <laughs> you got the leather on, the good Cartier's. Oh, God, I got man. it in my eyes, yeah, yeah. and you ain't got you, it. You look like, listen, I'm going to be honest. Terrence, you so smooth right now. You either look like you was coming from an Eddie Murphy show or a new edition show. It's either like you you smooth, my brother. I love it. I love it. I admire you, man. I like that. I like that. Oh, shit. I done lost my questions. Hold on. All right. Ooh, Yo MTV raps or Rap City? Oof, Rap City all day. Big Tigger, my brother. Which, Big which Tigger, yeah, Big, Big Tigger. Nah, when I started, you know, at BET, I was pretty much uh, Tigger was my mentor. Wow, you know what I'm saying? Wow, like he he taught me the game. Him and Jason Riley right. uh, taught me and my brother Fred the game. Mm. You know, and when I was starting on the show. Like, I was sleeping on the car. Tig would, like, get me gigs. What? Tig would give me clothes, sneakers, like, wow. all of that. Because I was coming Big fresh. Tig a good person. Okay. Yeah, I was coming fresh out of college, and we didn't have much. Mm. And, and Big Tig, like, completely made sure. Like, it was never, like, animosity coming into the building with right. him. Because he was, Tigger was hosting 106 in Park at the time of the transition. For uh, tentatively though. Yeah, ten okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He was he was there. Cause he was he was a, you know, he was a staple at the network. He was right. on so many shows. So it, it you know, and I think they should bring Rap City back, you know. Yeah, they did. It didn't work. Okay, but I yeah. bring it back again. <laughs> I'm a producer this yeah. time. Bring it back again. Yeah, no, I agree with you though. They should bring it back. Bring it back. I respect that. You know what I never understood? Hold on, brother. We're going to finish this quick time with slime and then we're going to get right to you. You sure? Because this yeah, shit been running right for a you. while. It's right to you. UGK or 8-Ball MJG? Man, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> I love, I love the evolution of T.I. on Drink Jazz. We're going to show every episode. It's the same shit. And it's always wonderful. It's always a treat when the players meet. Um, shit. Okay. Yeah, so the two more questions. This is your last one, though. You got one more. No, but it's, <laughs> it's yeah, your last I got one. You. Yeah, you got one more. What? <laughs> my fault, my fault. I'm calculating it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, uh, shit. Man, on, on, on the pimp, I got to go UGK. Okay. Okay, that's on what's up. On the pimp, I got to go UGK. I'm going to you. Now, your outfit already says who you're going to pick. Puff Daddy or Dr. Dre? 
I thought I told you that. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I could be, I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I can help you. <laughs> now, what y'all want to do? Want to be, be ballers, ballers yeah. shot callers, yeah. brawlers? <laughs> yo, so yo, back to stories. Yeah. So, so it's 2006, 2007, maybe uh. first BET Awards ever. Mm -hmm. Puff Daddy got me my first tailored suit ever. Like he tailored me, got the whole thing, had the um the 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 tailor come by, Woo! make sure I was super fresh to death. Mm. Like, I don't care what nobody say about Puff, man. Puff is is one of those people who changed the game. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like when we think about what we do now, yep. private jets. Yes. You know, been doing big that. yachts. Yes. You know, how to dress, how to move, mm. go mm. here, go there. Like Puff is just one of those people that has always opened the door. Um, so I gotta go, I gotta go with Puff Daddy. God damn it. Shout outs to Revolt. Shout outs to Shout out to yeah. Revolt TV. <laughs> we we happy where we at. Tribe Core Quest or Brand Nubian? Oh man, that's easy for me. That's Tribe all day. But I love Brand Nubian. Okay. I love Brand Nubian, but Tribe was like such a such a part of my life. I don't life. think we hear enough from Grand Pooba. Grand Pooba, mm -hmm. world. We need we need Grand Pooba yeah, outside. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, I love that. Think. The Golden Era, that was amazing. But like Tribe, you know, being a graffiti writer in Chicago, it's just like, man, Tribe, like Tribe was what it was an anthem. Was an anthem stuff for us. I, I just I, there was just something about that. I mean, the whole Zulu Nation was dope, but like tribe was tribe is up there for me. I wore a native tongue shirt the other day. Yeah. <laughs> None of the youngest knew what the fuck I was wearing. You know? <laughs> I know Chris Lofton on the show. Chris Lofton, who plays Jannard on the Power Show, he's always just like like he like did a tweet today about something about like this old school stuff and this and that. I was just like I can't even like talk to him. I was just like right. man, come on, lyricists, lyricists, right. God damn it, lyrical champions, come on. All right, Lord, this, this is the Lord, last Lord, one. Lord Jamar is, is still, you know, very present. Yes. I think we need to hear more. Grand Poo Bar? Grand Poo. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, this is a question for all three of y'all. This is not a, quiz, tri a trick question on the contrary to popular belief. It's on which, which y'all believe. And I'm going to ask all three of y'all at the same time. Loyalty or respect? Man, aren't they the same thing? Let's get shots. <laughs> To me, that's the only time we're supposed to take shots. <laughs> nah, you, Is that? I swear to, you can't have one without the other, though. Okay, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't okay. have one without the other. It's I an got, oxymoron. I can take one of Terrence's right. 10 yeah, shots yeah, yeah. over he got, here. He got some stashes over here. I see him. I see him. He my man, friend, so I ain't gonna, I'm going to let him get away. I'm, I'm almost... Hmm. Something is compelling me to say loyalty. Right. I feel like loyalty is the ultimate sign of respect. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you respect your, like, loyalty is like... It sounds like both to me, sir. I, I was just trying to get yeah. out of the shot. Yeah. Uh, can't get, hey, you can't have one without the other. You cannot have one without the other. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, come boy. on, brother. Your man in care is saying, take a yeah. shot. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Right, let's go. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Woo. Yeah, y'all lit now. We lit now. Now the end. We didn't direct that. We didn't direct that. <laughs> and he got cut you up. I feel like we should turn the cameras on now. Now the interview's really yeah, gonna yeah. start. Yeah. Yeah. You never been in a workout with Hino? Hino gets you fucked up first and then be like, yeah. now the work real workout. Like, nigga, what did we just Yo. do for 45 <laughs> minutes? Ah. You yeah, fell, yeah. nigga. Yeah, I seen you here. That's why I said it. That's why I said it. I seen you here. Yo, but T.I., recently, right, this footage. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, wow. Re recently, I don't know what I'm saying. This footage of you saying, Something about um, your, your cousin passing away, and you you addressing <laughs> you addressing it, right? Yeah. And real real street niggas know what you meant, right? But there's certain it's people. Al it's always that, isn't it? There's always certain people who always say that, and I'm I'm just wondering, right? Like with you know people try to say you know. What happened before And your paperwork Turned out great Your paperwork Turned out clean Everything Why would you even Entertain that Why I would never you, entertained you know, it I'm talking about When you said The, the, the cousin part Oh but, but, but okay. Because I was having A conversation okay. Prior to that interview okay. With a homeboy of mine okay. And we were on Different sides of the argument Oh And they so just so, took that piece Yeah I got, okay. like, I got But real, that's your footage though Yeah it is <laughs> It's my footage <laughs> okay, I, okay. I, I stand behind it <laughs> Okay okay I stand behind mm -hmm. it Um mm -hmm. 
And I ain't clear shit up. Mm-hmm. This the first time I've mm-hmm. ever even said anything about it because I don't right. care what a motherfucker thinks. Right, right, right. It's real motherfuckers who locked up right now. Right. Both. Mm-hmm. That's doing time for their crime. They know I did time for them. Mm-hmm. Right. I went to jail so they wouldn't. Wow. Motherfuckers who doing time right now. Right. Real shit. That know that about me. And also, it's motherfuckers who doing time right now that know that I know some shit that I could have helped them right. get, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I didn't. Right. And I kept it, I kept it solid, 100%. Right. right. And I care more about what they think about me mm. because they actually been in situations with me. You right. dig what I'm saying? Right. What other motherfuckers on the outside, mm. what they think, feel, mm. what their opinion is, I can't allow myself to get caught up in that. I can't get Because no real person believes believes that, Bruh, that, that you, you... I'm the only motherfucker being called a rat who ain't put nobody in jail. Like, I ain't never... You know what I'm saying? It ain't nobody... It ain't nobody who done raised their hand and said, yeah, he told on me. No, however, I understand, bro. Most people's... Mm. Most people are, are, are controlled by the majority of the things that they see and mm-hmm. are exposed to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so once there's a narrative that's been created and it's pushed out there, the motherfuckers who see it the most and they gonna go with the, they gonna go with what most people saying. Right. Um, with this particular instance with my cousin, what I didn't elaborate to say is, first off, the case was resolved. Mm-hmm. Uh, by Louise Hornsby, and it was a motion to suppress due to uh, they didn't have a right to search the car. Mm. Illegal search or seizure. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, now, in the holding cell, me and my cousin, we had a conversation. First of all, my cousin wasn't a felon. Mm. Like, it wasn't shit for him to have no gun as mm. long as it was legal. Right. You feel me? In Atlanta, all of y'all. Yeah, exactly. Everybody got But they were back in 2000, 2000, 2001, something like that. Um, so it wasn't shit for him to have no gun. Mm-hmm. And I'm his little cousin mm-hmm. who had an opportunity to move on. He was already this saying. Surprise, you being T.I. Yeah. Okay. Is, yeah. So he was already saying, yeah, man, I'm going I'm to take the gun and you, you know, you'll handle the rest of the shit. Mm-hmm. And. I just know that this is a fabrication of a motherfucker's, the fan, like, motherfuckers fantasize about shit, mm. about people mm-hmm. that they have no access to. And they just imagine. Right. And this way it work out in their mind. So right. I can't allow their, their, their fantasy to become my reality. I just mm. can't do it. Mm. No, but, it's real talk. Real like talk. I said, man, um, we're taking a shot for that. Can I have some water, yeah. please? Is what you need water for? <laughs> they don't do no water on this. There's man, no man, chasers. Man, I ain't become a bar of this. No, I see management coming out. I'm like, <laughs> no, 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 man. Right, right. Right. No, 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 man. Need some water out here, man. No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah, I, don't no, no. Think, I don't think that shit had no bearing on my, it don't have no bearing on my daily. It don't right. really yeah, affect me. Right. All the real right. people who I know yep. who done did time before, who done really, really like stood in the trenches. Right. Ain't nobody worried about that shit but the motherfuckers who typing on, 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 on the yeah. internet. Yeah, Tw- Twitter finger people. Yeah, definitely. But what made you ask that? You thought that was a tough question? No, actually, I I just googled you before. <laughs> I had, just because you my Damn, friend. Damn, that the first yeah, thing yeah, yeah. that pop up. Yeah, was one of them. Um, I, because like I, I tell that to Buster, I tell that to Nas sometimes, and I be like, yo, just because you're my. I'm your, your friend and your family. When you come sit down, I'm still Google you. I'm gonna still like do my research because I don't want to miss a question and people be like, "Yo, why you didn't ask that or why you didn't ask that?" Like when. But can I ask a question though? Yeah, yeah. What? Ah! Man, he googled, he googled the shit out of you. Though, tell me, like, where's that bathroom? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Why good, does that, good, good. This is good. This is good. Why does that shit become like so? Because okay, so, ask, like, finish, why does that finish. shit become so important to ask? No, because you know what it was. Um, 
it's your footage, right? right. So obviously you put it out. It's, right. It's, and then people are trying to use that footage against you, right? Sure. Which is crazy. Which, which I'm, I'm sure you proofread your your book before you threw it out, so you knew th that this was there. It ain't nothing I was trying to hide. Right. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go on to say this. When I told you the conversation or the discrepancy that I was having mm. with one of my own, one of my partners, he was mm. like, "Man, I ain't finna do that." It came. The conversation came from, "If we in a case together and mm. I die, mm. put it on me." God bless. Put it on me, bro. If I'm dead and you can go home, man, put the case on me. You hear mm. me? Yeah, yeah. And unless it was some shit you know I wouldn't be a part of if I was mm. alive, you know mm. what I'm saying? If you got some dope and I'm gone and you're like, man, shit, it wasn't mine, so, yeah. man, why not, bro? Mm -hmm. You still mm -hmm. have a life to live after I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Why would I expect you to, like, where is the logic in that? Right. Where is the logic in that? Right. But I see where people are so closely connected to it because you got to think about the origination of the police. And you got to think about you. The thing about you is you're the trap king. king. So people, like, kind of, like, they want to discredit you. To, it, 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 I'm it, the trap originator. Exactly. I'm the king of the South. I'm the trap originator. You yeah. hear me? I'm trap music originator. I'm, 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 I like that talk. I like that talk. I'm the king of the South. Yes. I don't believe that there is a a monolithic view mm. or 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 opinion mm. that makes one more eligible or not for another. I just feel like, bro. To be a king or a person of authority is about making tough decisions. Mm -hmm. And making tough decisions about considering about mm -hmm. considering all factors involved. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some things based on your integrity, based on your morals, mm -hmm. based on the principles that you've, you know, that you've instilled in yourself that mm -hmm. you just ain't going to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there's a bunch of other shit that you just got to figure out how to kind of make that shit work into the best case scenario for yourself. Mm -hmm. I ain't just finna say, like, I ain't, I'm not finna say uh, another thing that we've talked about before. Mm -hmm. The commercial, I'm not finna say no. I'm not mm -hmm. gonna tell law-abiding citizens not to call the police right. so I can, you know, right. not be of benefit to a downward departure. Not gonna do that. Right. Because you know why? Law abiding citizens was gonna call the police anyway. anyway. Yeah. Well, That's they right. They're right. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Street niggas were never gonna not snitch. Or, or excuse me, they were never gonna not keep it silent because they seen me on a commercial. Mm -hmm. It wasn't never gonna be no nigga to say, you know what? I wasn't gonna tell, but. I just seen that nigga tip on that commercial, man. I'm gonna go on here and do my thing, man. Call my lawyer. That shit don't happen. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Um, but I love my motherfucker. I love I love my stats. I ain't never put no. I ain't never called the police to put nobody in jail. Mm. I ain't never took the stand to say nothing to get no nigga no ounce of no time. Right. I ain't never. So you know, but it's people who hanging out with real life documented mm. tellers. And they get they pick up their phone and they type and say, "Yeah, Ti, you did." Not. But what about the guy who called you just hopped out of? <laughs> You just hopped out the car with a guy that you know did this and sent X amount of guys up the road. But right. you still you still dealing with him. Right. But you want to pick up your phone and talk about me. Mm. That's the conundrum. Right. As I see it. Crazy. Crazy. But continue on. No, come on. I, I feel like we should take a shot for something. <laughs> come on, Ted. Where's this shot over here? Is this bothering me? This is this this little one right here. What is what is it doing? Is it a secret one? He needs it. Uh, you, you saving it for later? Just in case. Yeah. So how how did you um initially meet Fifty? Uh, getting cast in the show. Uh, I I didn't meet Fifty until I auditioned for the show and I barely met him then. And then when I got cast in the show, it was a different story. Right. I went over there with Omari Hardwick who played Ghost. We went to the uh, G Unit offices that were at 40th and 8th Street. They're not there no more. Right. Um. <laughs> And uh, Fifth uh, just gave me a hug. Said, "Man, did a great job." And this is after he saw the audition tapes. This is no, no. Yeah, I had to audition five times for the role of Tommy. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm the only one cast out of New York, which I'm proud of. Why? Right. 
Um, but it was uh, it was great. It was great. Yeah, yeah. It was a, a lot. I, I just thought they're never gonna cast me. They're gonna cast some guy who you know doesn't know not, not like not that I was ever dealing copious amounts of drugs, but I you know <laughs> have a certain amount of um, of uh, played in the streets, and it was, it was it was great to explore that part of my life as a kid and and play base a lot of Tommy on guys I was scared of. And May I ask a question for as the co-host? Yeah. So. Uh, now you're getting into it. Take a shot for me, so your goals. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Not about about take a shot nah, for nah, you, But look, check this out. Mm. As the, the, the guy going in to audition for this role, yep. you see that you came in five times. You got, what, five times is four callbacks, right? Yep. Okay. Who was your competition? What other guys were, were you up against? Initially. That you was- thought you would have lost to? Uh at the first audition, it was you know they they they're throwing spaghetti at the wall, right? And there's a lot of um, is, is that a saying or that's the real? No, nah, it's a real yeah, saying. Yeah. It's like uh, spitballing. Oh, okay. So we say spitballing. They say spaghetti. Uh, you know right. what I mean? It's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think it was the true thing. <laughs> Same shit. Yeah. I, I I saw it and I would like to say it was an Italian mom who did it, but it was actually a Mexican friend of mine whose mom threw spaghetti at the wall. This was times. She doing? <laughs> but it works. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. So. Um. I saw a lot of guys who were uh, very classically handsome mm. and didn't necessarily feel like there was any threat in them. Mm. Uh, not that I do uh, necessarily, mm. but I mean, I knew that the Tommy character had to have it. Initially, his name was Eddie O'Neill, which is not quite as threatening either. Mm. And then... Um, you, you mean to tell me you were... Uh, Eddie O'Neill? Okay. Concerned... <laughs> The losing the role of Tommy to Eddie O'Neill. Yeah, Eddie O'Neill, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was concerned on losing the role of Tommy. I don't know to Eddie O'Neill. Standard by the way. Hollywood. Mm. Standard Hollywood is 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 uh, they have, you know it's kind of a template. And yeah. I think that, you know to bring this back around to Deion Taylor and I got to give a shout out to my guy Omar Joseph as mm. well, uh, the oh. second t- team director who's a. Uh, 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 Make sure you're Omar Joseph. Yeah. Oh. Where's Dion? Dion done left? Dion done left? Where's Dion at? Yeah. He oh, probably, I remember waiting for him. He's oh, probably I, moving I ahead or doing look, another look, interview look, or something. Yeah, we got we're business. About the minute it's at. a movie this coming out this Friday, Nori. This, yeah, we, we, this, this, it's already out. Did, well, okay, well, oh, yeah, well last out. Friday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A movie yeah. came so, out last so, Friday. Where, 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 um, Mr. Lee at? But I'll make it super succinct for you, Tip, is that yeah. the, out of the five auditions for the Tommy role, the first one I was just like, no, they don't get it. Then you get the callback. Uh, and that was just for, like, putting yourself on tape with the casting director. Second audition uh, was... Um, uh, Back with casting, with notes from the people they sent it to Fifty, evidently, and some other people. Blah blah blah. The third audition was uh, a guy named David Noller, Anthony Hemingway. Shout out to Anthony Hemingway, my man, and Courtney A. Kemp, uh, one of the uh, brilliant creators of the show. And um, they then called me back for a chemistry read with Omari Hardwick because initially the role was going to be Fifty Cent, but then Fifty didn't want to. Uh, have such a incredible amount of workload of work. So then Omari was the guy. So then we all had to do a, a chemistry read to see if we chemically, whatever, I don't know, whatever the hell that people see with that stuff. And then there was the final network test with the big wigs. And then I finally got uh, the Tommy rule. That's hard. Now, I'm, I, my question was, who would, because every time we go and read for a role, there's always this other person that they're considering. And I'm going to tell you how I know. So, I got the role of ATL because Dallas Austin came to me about his first movie. And this was like... I love that movie, by the way, Tim. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, but I got that role because Dallas Austin came to me when he was putting out or uh, working on his first movie. And I was working on my second album. Mm. Um and he'd been hearing a lot about me in the city and shit. And he's like, yo, I want you to be in my movie. I was like, I bet. He was like, yeah, go read for it. So I went and read for it. And they was you like. You know what, when, when he said read for it, you knew that meant audition? I did. Okay, cool. I did. Continue, because most people don't know. Yeah, they yeah, think no, like, that's, read that's for it. I watched I mean, like, two part interviews. And, and like, yeah. I just saw like two part interviews and then Ice Cube interviews. And like, they, they you know, they I kind of like, understood the yeah, process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Um. But anyway, so I, I I went in and read, and they were like, yeah, yeah, it's good. Can you play the drums? I'm like, no. They're like, well, you're going to have to learn how to play the drums for this role. I was like, I can learn how to play like I know how to play the drums. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And they was like, all right. I never got called back. Come to find out, some 
nobody named Nick Cannon came and got the role from me. Are you talking about drumline? Yeah, I'm talking about drumline. <laughs> 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 so, so after that, right, me and Nick talk about it all the time. It's one of my... Okay, hold on, because you, you, you went too fast with this story. Hold on. Flipped hold on. on you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> we don't have so much time. We got to go somewhere. We got to... You said that the director... Yeah. They came, told you to read... Well, it was the producer. His producer. name was Dallas Austin. Yeah. Dallas Austin. And yeah. you went, and it was drumline. Ooh. It wasn't drumline as we know it now. It was drumline before it came out. <laughs> you okay. dig what I'm saying? Okay. Like, okay. There's a difference. Okay. Mm-hmm. You yeah. feel me? Uh-huh. Uh, but even still, I, I, you know, because of the reputation um, of, of of Dallas Austin, mm. I was I took it very seriously, and I, you know, read for it, mm. went prepared, and you know, they fought with me. They liked me. But they were just like, can't you play the drums, nigga? Right. And I was like, nah, but I could pretend to play the drums right. on camera. Yeah. And yeah, Nick learned how to play the drums. <laughs> <laughs> Nick wanted it way more than I did. Right. You know right. what I mean? Uh, but, but, but that led to Drumline came out, became a phenomenal, historical, legendary piece. Yes. Um, and, and, Nick Cannon was the person for that role, by mm-hmm. the way. Because he showed the commitment, he showed the dedication. Mm. But when I started seeing Dallas in the studio, I was like, hey, nigga, next time, bro, I ain't reading for no more for no more role. He was like, nah, I got another one coming up, man. You got it. I'm telling you, it's you. And that role was ATL. Rashad in ATL. Wow. You know okay. what I mean? So and you then didn't I have always to read for it. I didn't have to read for it. How so, old were you at the time? I was 23. Oh, so mm. damn. I was 23. And then um, me and Nick, we, you know, when we see each other, he always say, shit, if you'd have got that role, I would have got ATL. I said, you'd have fucked that one up. <laughs> 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 but, yeah. Let's all make noise for the band of the motherfucking hour. Now we all Google. Can you can you uh, uh, read how many movies he did? Has come on because we we done Googled him and his you your movie is is crazy, right? But let's get back to that once he pulls it up. Yeah. We see Get Out. Yep. Is this inspired by Get Out? Because we don't see too many black horror movies, right? Yeah. No, you don't, man. You know what? Uh, I wouldn't say inspired uh, by Get Out. I was I was making horror films before Jordan wow. uh, was making horror films. Really? Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm into this. I've been at this for a while, man. Okay. Uh, my first film was a horror film called 75. Wow. And I followed that up with a movie called Chain Letter. Mm. Uh, then I had a whole anthology horror series 14 years ago before anthology was cool that wow. was uh, called Night Tales. Wow. So I've been at this for a while, man. So going back to horror was pretty cool. Um, but I, I chose horror early on because that genre, uh, the one great thing about it is you don't need a star in your movie. Mm. So where people are trying to make you just sitting on all these niggas just now, right? <laughs> yeah, I just fuck well, with you. Well, well that's fu- that's actually funny, right? <laughs> it's actually really funny. No, but when you when you jump in a horror, what's really cool is if you don't have a budget or you don't have the real type of money right. that you need for a real film. Right. Um, horror is incredible based on the fact that you don't know who Jason is or Michael Myers is or right. Freddy Krueger is, right. right? So you can get a group of dope actors and then just find a monster or a thing that could be in that film that can mm. allow it to work internationally and domestically. So, yeah. Damn, 15 movies. God damn, you, you out here. <laughs> North. Okay, yes. Question. Yeah. Does he have to take a shot? Yeah, he, he, he got to like take an initiation shot. No, he but I, no, 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 no. I feel like... What, 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 what are you drinking? What are you drinking? I mean, this, is all, this is all I need right here. Cranberry juice. You got to take a, a, a no. long swig of the cranberry juice. Well, no, nah, we got to take a you shot for fear. Drink, right? Oh, that's right. That's for yeah. fear. That's right. Oh. But the, I, you know what I loved about the film is they all sit around this bonfire, right? Yep. That's what it's called, that's bonfire. Right. That's right. Right? Yeah, you know. You I'm ever sorry. sat around a bonfire? Nah. Uh, I, I tried to set it up. I live on the beach. It didn't work out for right, me. Right, right. I live on the beach, and I was I tried to I was like I was like 
<laughs> the absolutely black and Latino came out of me. It was like, I'm, I have a lot of white friends now. They should have been there that day. Diego should have been there that day. Help me out. Where, where was you at? But anyway, they sit around a bonfire, right? And then they all say their fears. Yep. And ironically, it seems like all of their fears came and haunted them. Whatever what they said, for instance, one, I don't want to say who, uh, person said that they were scared of the police because they had got pulled over, yep. right? And then when, ironically, when he passes away, yep. it's something to do with that, or at least he visualized that. That's right. So, so is that the premises of this is the reason why it's fair? Because he's writing the book yep. of... Uh, um, Rob. Ron, yeah. I, Ron, I thought it was Ron, Ron with an M. Okay, Ron yeah. is right in the book. <laughs> and at first, you're thinking this is this. I'm gonna be honest. You're thinking this is this is a crazy white guy who brings his black friends away. <laughs> and then, yeah. like that. that's and then, what it's this, supposed to do. You're supposed to feel that, right? Like okay. you felt it right. Yes. No. Okay. But, yeah. Because oh, that, that, you watched the movie, you found that's nigga. actually how it's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're actually supposed to feel that way, but no. Right. What the movie is about is the, the fear is about the mind. Right. The manifestation of the mind. The most powerful thing on the planet Earth is the human mind. Mm -hmm. Whatever it could conjure up or create mm -hmm. is the scariest thing that you could actually see. Right. So what the movie deals with is the power of manifestation. Mm -hmm. So the idea is someone like yourself right now with this incredible show that we're all on. God damn it. Mm -hmm. You manifested this. Y yes, I did. Right? So you've yes. seen this. This was a vision. Mm -hmm. Now we can actually see it in a physical form. Mm -hmm. Right? But however many years ago when you first started this, you had to actually see this and pitch this to someone. And then right. they had to be like, well, what happens? And then you do yeah. what? And then there's alcohol. Well, on paper, this is terrible. Right? So, so, right. This is so terrible at the end on of the day, what the, movie, what the movie deals with is exactly that. What I believe is you can either manifest something absolutely brilliant and incredible for your life, mm. or you could fly and be able to do the things you want to do, right. or you could be that person that manifests darkness and ugliness and become nothing or die, mm. right? So that's what the mind has the power to do. Whatever you think and you build in your mind and you push out, that's what you'll get. So if you're like, oh, man, they don't like me. I'm never going to get that part. I'd never be in that film. I'll never be able to build that company. Then that's exactly what the results would be. Mm -hmm. So what the movie deals with is the energy mm -hmm. around the subconscious and how it works. So mm -hmm. when they are around that fire and they're all speaking to each other about what that is, the idea about the lodge and what the whole energy is about is can you, if that fear approaches you, can you actually defeat it? Now, Lou's character, Lou was the only one that said um, something that, that w really wasn't spooky. He said that um, he didn't want people to trust him. Right. But then, ironically... He can't I'm, give it away. He didn't, but, okay. He can't give it away. But, 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 I, but it's funny because we talked about... I'm in the movie. You yeah, tell like yeah, I'm yeah, in the movie, right? No, you're on point because yeah, yeah. that's exactly right. Yeah. Cause, because his character basically was like his biggest fear is for people not to trust him. Right. Especially those that actually... Or his family. Right, he right? said that. Which is a big deal, right? right? So at the end of the day, that was a very complicated fear to uh -huh. have in the film because you got to figure out, like, okay, well, how would that bother him? Right. Until you see the movie go downhill, exactly. you're like, oh, wait. If you understand the film and you watch it like you do, right. everybody actually domino effects on top of each other. Yes. Right? Yes. So yes. His, his fear actually affects him. Right. Right? Oh, it does. Damn, right. I forgot and then his fear, yes. and then, right? Yes, and then yes. his fear affects yes. him. Right. Right? So it just continuously happens until someone actually has the audacity or the mental capacity to stop it. Right. Now, well, all, all this um, binge watching, right? Yeah, yeah. Binge watching is a great thing um, because I remember, I remember uh, you know, coming home to Martin, coming home to Video Music Box, coming home to 106 in Park and doing that but then me actually having a life and me not being able to do that ever again. Yep. And me saying, okay, whenever it comes on Netflix or whenever it comes on YouTube or whatever, there, yeah. what made you say that, you know what, let's make these people go back to the theaters. And and, and the fact that you made it during COVID, what, what made you t pick that? Man, it's a lot, man. Uh, I just love the theatrical experience. Yeah. I've, I've personally never had a streaming movie. Right. Um, nothing I've ever made has... has been the streaming. Wow. Uh, we've been really blessed, man, independently to make movies that I believe work really well in the theater, and they have. Mm. Um, me and Joseph with The Intruder, uh, Fatal, Black and Blue. Um, oh, even Intruder. 
Yeah, even as small oh, as yeah. um, that's when you the foul, you the foul. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Even as small as um, I got mine. Yeah, Meet the Blacks, which was a very small movie. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a giant theatrical run. That's what Michael uh, Blacks man. Uh, uh, yeah, on Blacks and Epps and Duval, mm -hmm. the whole team over mm -hmm. there, man. But yeah, um, I was in that one too. That's Wait, that was Gary. That's Gary Owen. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm Shout out to Gary, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, yeah, so I, I always just, I feel like the theatrical experience is where it's at right now, man. Right. Um, but why the movie was made is what we you guys were talking about earlier, which was we was in a moment in time, man, where mm. um, we didn't know what tomorrow would bring. Right. And as an artist, man, I felt like part of our job, just like you as an artist, mm -hmm. is to create art that reflects the time that we live in. Right. And uh, at that moment, man, no one was able to actually paint. And I was like, man, I bet I could paint. <laughs> and and, and you know what's dope? That you, the fact that y'all, you, you, like, I don't know if there was a, a disease y'all created yeah. or was y'all trying to say that this was COVID. Right. Like, I, I couldn't tell at that yeah. moment when, like, when, when the news flashes the, was the, going. Yeah, I was whole, like, I yeah, couldn't It's crazy, right? And then, that, and then there's one point it was like, everyone stay in. You can't go nowhere. And, yeah. and, and everyone's in the house debating, like, what should we do? Can we open the windows? Yep, like, yep, like, yep. And it's like, so you don't know if this is COVID or not. It's where we was at, man. Look, right. I, I was saying this the other night. Um, during the pandemic, during the global pandemic, when everything shut down, now we got a whole bunch of people that's tough. Right. Now everybody, I wouldn't do that. I would do this. But there was a moment in time. Yeah. There was a moment in time right. where you looked at your kids or your wife or your family or right. whoever, and you was like, damn, I don't know what this I is know, out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's where we wanted to be in the film. We wanted to be in a place to where the mind actually plays jokes and games with you, right? And, right. and the prime example of that, which is funny, is along this time, and some people pick this up now and they still have this problem. Right. You feel something in your chest or you feel like you got yeah, a cough yeah. and then immediately you go to your phone. Next thing you know, an hour later, you got cancer. You're like, damn, I got all, I got all them symptoms. You Jesus. know what I mean? So she got a, a little bit of that energy <laughs> is, a little bit of that energy is, what the movie deals with, which is, and that's what his character actually plays with a lot in the film, too. Except for Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, Florida. And, and Florida. And Florida. And Florida. Oh, chill. Let me just be clear. <laughs> Florida closed down for two months. Yep. And then it was like, fuck that. Atlanta's outside. But Atlanta, Atlanta crazy, closed though, down huh? for two hours. Man, remember that? Atlanta was going crazy. Maybe two uh, weeks. Maybe two outside. weeks. Wait, how? Florida closed down for two months, right? Florida like closed, closed down. down, then it opened back up, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. but it was different skirts of Florida. Yeah. But they Miami was, was cautious for the like clubs, two months. The clubs in Atlanta never really. But shit. Atlanta <laughs> never. After the movie or now? Oh, this is this is the week of the movie. This is this comes out. Wait, because what, what day the movie comes out? The twenty seventh. Twenty seventh. And we're gonna drop this Thursday. Friday, yes, yeah, and Saturday. this is week. Yep. Yeah, 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 it comes out week. before. This is the same week. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. You good? Yeah. The film comes out. Let's tell this motherfucker. The film comes out Thursday at five p.m. And it, this comes out at ten p.m. That's Thursday. Good. So, so the you know, Vault TV I and know, then good. Friday good. audio yep. and then Saturday YouTube. Yeah. We keep talking about you know we have. It's a seen great movie. fucking movie, man. I've seen. So I've seen. I'm gonna three. take a shot for that, man. Come on, Thank take you. your last shot. Take your last shot. Great, man. Ti over there. Hey, come on. <laughs> Don't worry, you can skip this one. Mm. So I was doing my 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 drink champs research before yeah. I came. Yeah. Yo, Khaled, Khaled has so many like quotes. So yes. I'm gonna make sure I drop some quotes. You gotta drop some quotes. Yes. Quote. Quote. Yo, yo. Having greatness takes mm. patience. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanna be great, you gotta be willing to wait. Ooh, that's deep. I'm gonna tell you about this film right that's here. Deep. Think about this. We shot this movie three years ago during the pandemic. Mm. I then I've seen three versions of this movie. Yeah, okay. right. Yeah. The third version I saw of this movie was so good. I called D and I was like, "Bro, put this version of the movie out." You want right? to bootleg it? It was like you know, like the pandemic. <laughs> I wanted to put it in. I was like, yeah. "It's ready now." Let's throw it out. Right? One thing I learned from D, he was like, I just don't feel like it's there. Mm. He went higher. How many editors? Have, I mean, it's been a lot of yeah. different edits of this movie. Yeah. Because right? what's that shit? The short version, Quibi? You, you ain't oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Quibi, Quibi. It lasted like, like, like 
They fall. Six, six yeah, they, they're going good now. months. They they going well, now. I was ready to you know sell some shit to Quibi. You know much money people got. Like, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. so D just had the patience to wait for the right time, mm. the right weekend. Mm. Everything's in the right place. Mm. And, and put together a complete new film, mm. right? That speaks to where we are right now. Mm. And that is unprecedented, right? Mm. And so everybody, like, you got to think, like, there's there's millions of, there's no studio. It's not like Sony, Warner Brothers, you know, one sure. of these, it had just put the money up and we're just all out here moving. Everybody, we got real money in the game, right? right? So there's it. six figures out of my bank account right. making sure that this works. Dion has hundreds of thousands of dollars, not millions of dollars of his own money Right. Invested in it, right? right? So when we talk about fear, a lot of people, as we operate through life, mm. have fear in taking themselves, taking their career to the next level, right? Mm. They have something that they aspi aspire to do, but they have the fear that might hold them back from going there. Mm. Yeah. And so the one thing that I want people to know from the the, the aspect of the stuff that happens on camera mm. and what happens behind the scenes mm. is that if you want to do great things in life, you have to be willing to bypass that fear and just go out of it. All of us 100 years from now will be dead. This is it, right? Yeah. We got hey, speak for yourself. <laughs> T.I. has crypto technology and will be frozen in an ice cap. Yes, you don't know what the fuck going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, bro. The time we have now yeah. is the time we have now. Yeah. And this, this movie fear for all of these different characters going through all of these yes. different journeys yes. is if they could just overcome the fear, they mm. might be able to move. I don't want to speak too much. You don't do yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ain't good, no. But you got to be willing to see past the fear. Another thing I would say is every storm runs out of rain. You feel me? Mm. Hey, I'll drop it. So, so where this we, film is we get about, the, you, yeah. the deep territory. Uh, uh, this is do one best. This is well the Dawson area. area. Every right. storm I went, runs out of rain. I went through the one of the hardest. I, I went through a really tough time about a year ago. Mm. Went down to Atlanta and went to visit Tip. He looked at me, he said, don't let a moment take over the movement. Yeah, that, I got that from Jay Prince. I, 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 I didn't, Well, Jay you know, Prince said it right. I can't, you know. But, you know what, what, what's this tough time? Are, are we talking about when your process of moving out of L.A.? We're talking about that time? Yeah, yeah. yeah you you know? want to tell the people? like, like because, Let's talk I mean, about it a little bit. Yeah, I mean. Tell them why you, you know, moved you, you out know, of L.A. Um, that, that was very touching to me. Um, I met with you at uh, Bell Harbor, I believe. I don't know if you remember. Mm. And I was like, yo, you know. And you was like, yo, man, I, I'm thinking about moving out here. And I was like, you know, that's one of the greatest decisions I've ever made. That the first year I moved out here, the first year I moved out here, no one should have been around me. <laughs> it was just not great. <laughs> but then after that, I started to realize, oh, shit, you know, there's different parts of Miami or whatever, whatever. So, when I, so uh, but then it's so many, because L.A. is right now known as the rapper murder capital of the world, mm. right? Now, it's, it's crazy because... You you are a host, but in this world, at least this is how it's depicted. You're looked at like me and Ti. Like there's no uh -huh. difference between even though me and Ti look at you like a civilian. We say Terrence J is a civilian. Like there's no no one cannot like Terrence J, yeah. but still you're subjected to the same thing that me and Ti is. And you, if you could describe what you want to describe, the part of it. Um, of what's going on in L.A. for people that don't understand. Well, more so than what's going on in L.A., your decision. Right. What made you make your decision? Right. Um, I never talked, I, I haven't talked about this. Right. I, there was an attempted robbery. Right. I was coming home from a restaurant. Right. Nice restaurant. Guys, yeah, very nice restaurant. Yeah. Not attempted, McDonald's. Not yeah, attempted carjacking, right? <clears throat> Um, I was able to get away, and then Black. I had yeah, you know I, I had I had decisions to make, mm -hmm. right? Um, when I moved to LA, like I remember moving to LA and going to a house party, and it changed my life, right? And I felt like oh man, like I I got an invite, and I'm at a Puff Daddy party, and you feel the vibe, and it inspired me so much. 
And so for me, right. you know, for, for about a five year span, my house was one of those spots in LA. Like open to everybody. My I would I would my door would be unlocked. Wow. And it would be artists, right. new artists, right. gangsters, right. you know, aspiring actors, aspiring models, right. somebody that just moved from Kansas in the same party with, you know, with Tip, right? right. It would be Athletes, all of that. Like, I just had an open door policy. Mm. I would feed people. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And so, when it happened to me, when they tried to, mm. in front of, you know, at my crib, right. it was, a, it was, it. I took it very personally because right. I've always tried to, like, you know what I mean? I've always been Switzerland. You right. come to my house no. if you have oh, beef and you want to squash it. Switzerland. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just for those that don't know, Switzerland has beef with nobody, and nobody kind of has beef with Switzerland. Right. So, uh, you, know, you know, Zurich is one of my favorite places on the planet. Mm. Continue, continue, because I want, I, you know, um, you know, I'm sorry, because I, I know you told me this. I don't know if it was secrecy or not, but your story is so important because we, mo we mainly think that it only happens to rappers or mm. only happens to people who who sub attract that type of lifestyle, who say, yo, uh, you know, I'm holding yeah. this, I'm doing yeah. this, I'm doing this. Mm. And really, it's happening to anybody in entertainment. Yeah. This is the reason why your story is so important, and I hope you continue to, to finish what you were yeah, saying. You, I'm sorry. I, you know, uh -huh. um, yeah, so it, right. it was it was painful, and especially right. because they looked like me. Right. Right? And I'm I'm the national ambassador for the Thurgood Marshall College right. Fund. Right. Right? I'm a black college, HBCU. Right. Like, I right. love us. Right. So, like... To, to experience that was, mm -hmm. was it was traumatic for a lot of different reasons, right? Right. But with with all of that said, mm -hmm. I never wanted to feel like some you know I'm getting moved out of my I gotta move leave the city. Right. But I felt like I wanted to refresh the energy. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I felt like it was time to refresh the energy, and I had a conversation with Tip, and he was like, "Listen, you got to keep the energy going, right?" Yep. And so I moved from LA. Right. I I I bought some real estate, mm -hmm. but then I bought some more real estate, God and then it. I bought some more real estate. God damn it. And then, like, in the thought of it, like, just wanted to feel comfortable, mm -hmm. I probably done 10, 15, about, like, like $13 million worth of real estate God over the it. past 12-month cycle. God damn it, right? make some noise for that. God damn it. Make some noise for that. And so what I, what I say is, like, you know, well, first of all, for us, we got to be vigilant. It don't right. matter whether, you know, I'll, I just came off the Oscars and right. got, you know what I'm saying? So it's like all of anybody could be a target. We have to be vigilant. Yes. Yes. We have to, you know, I continue to promote education for young people. Like the fact that they was young people that look like me right. makes me want to do more to right. help young men so that it doesn't continue. You know what I'm saying? Is this something you thought that that you could have avoided the situation, or this was a situation that was going to follow anybody walking out that restaurant? Mine specifically was they followed me when I was coming from the valet, mm. and so now the police have now told you know that was it that, a nice car? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. was, you know yeah. that it they were they were scouting from the restaurant and okay. doing the drive home. Yeah, but again, you know I don't want to talk too much about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you don't my, have to. My takeaway is that like. You know, having fear in life, and that's what the premise yeah. of this movie is, right? That's right. It's like, I like, nobody, I like, I like how you bring it back to fear. This wants thing is good. Cool. This <laughs> thing is good. <cool. laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Being being shot at is the scariest shit you could ever go through. Right? Especially when you don't have a gun. When you don't have a gun and you're being shot at, that it, there's nothing scarier, right? Wait, I didn't know. I, I forgot that part. They actually yeah. shot at you? And this is in front of your house, or this is... This is, like, right down the road, like, okay. once I'm in the car. Wow. Right. So what you have God to bless then you. do... God bless you. Thank you. What bless you have to then do is, like, you have to, like, assess, like, who you are in life, right? Mm -hmm. And do you let situations take you down? Do you let situations take you off your path? Do you let situations deter you from going after what mm. your dreams are, right? Mm. And so for me, I was able to take a, a very traumatic experience, right? And then say, okay, well, now that I got to move, I'm going to start buying some real estate. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start. And now I've, I've, compl I've turned it into a complete new business for me. I have a complete new business under because I talked to my friends and I, you right, know right. And, and so it's like it's taking the traumatic experience from from life right. and using them as a stepping stone using them as a guiding post to get yourself to where you need to be 
Right. What well, evil he, meant for bad, God the, used for good. Because, you know, Jim Jones said it the other day. Um, he said, being a rapper is the most dangerous job on earth. And a lot of people from the military, you know, they took it personal. And I understood why the military took it personal because we understand that. But even in the military, like, you kind of know who your enemy is when you go on that field. They have the opposite yeah. of the uniform. Being an entertainer, we don't know who the fuck. Mm. Like, I watched the Selena movie the other day, and her assistant killed her. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, then I watched the interview with Baby. Said he said you got. He said forget hate. We gotta watch envy. Mm. Mm. He said envy comes from within. That's true. Sometimes you have people around you who just envy of it, envious of you, just because y'all had the same fifth grade teacher, yeah. you had the same third grade teacher, you had the same seventh grade teacher, and you're living how you is, but you didn't change. Right. You just still want to hang with th this particular person. This particular person is looking at you like, fuck no. Why has he got a better haircut than me? <laughs> no, you're right. That's real. I think, but like, I think, it's I dumb think shit like that. I think that's where the, the, the rap energy comes from, though, because if you think about it, most, most artists that come from the inner city that actually find success at music, right. they still living within the same walls that everybody else is in, right? Right. So, and they don't, a lot of times don't know how to actually lead that environment because that's where the palette is for the art. Right. So if you in Memphis or you in Chicago or you in Miami, and then all of a sudden I was just with you and we was poor, we was hitting licks, we was doing whatever, and all right. of a sudden your music take off, right. and now you got all this, you got all that, you got a fan base, and we still sitting in this same environment. Right. Envious and jealousy will be the thing that actually assassinates you. So that's why we see all the artists. Now, if you're the military, you're absolutely right. right. I'm the military, I know, okay, I'm finna do this, sign yeah. up, and I'm gonna sit right here and wait for that to happen. I know my insurgents. I know how they look. Right. I know what clothes they got I'm, on. I know what it is. So I think that's what is, but I would also say it's not just rappers, it's anybody successful in the hood. But you know, that's another thing that I, I, I felt interesting about the movie was there was no like street people other than Lou. Sorry, you took the street road, Pia. Lou off from the like, same every, place. <laughs> like everybody Blue else has something place. going on. Yeah, yeah. Lou, I don't, I don't know what Lou was. Uh, Lou was. Uh, Lou, Lou from the hood. Yeah. He was an entrepreneur. <laughs> he was an independent entrepreneur. <laughs> Everybody else had, you know, uh, yeah. uh, some, but that was dope for me to see that. Like, you know, they going off uh, aside. Um, did you ever actually propose or no? Well, let's not do that. Okay. Let's not do that. No, let's not do that. Because that was the funniest yeah. shit is when... Um, they sat around. Hey, man, come on. Okay. Oh, yeah, let me let me relax. You're doing a lot. No, I'm doing a lot. Let's take a shot for me doing a lot. <laughs> yeah. But by the way, man, let me let me um really, you know, look all for you brothers, uh, face to face, eye to eye. I'll tell you, I truly enjoyed the movie. I truly watched. I wanted to critique it, good, bad, in between, whatever. And it's a dope movie, man. Thank it's a that, dope yeah. movie. Um, Thank, you. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was unique. I thought I haven't seen no movie like it. Mm. Mm. Um, and I thought I thought what y'all did. And now, knowing that you guys came together, and, and so I'm, I'm guessing you had a table read or approved the script or some type of shit. And no, said, no, no, no. No, but let me. No. They just believe in you that much. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. showed up. Yeah. Yeah. Day I shot. <laughs> that's right. You just that's right. Let me speak on that for a minute. Just, just for one second. I know we're gonna get out of here in a minute. Yeah, yeah. But, cool. But no, these guys all trusted me as a filmmaker and a writer. And I actually wrote the script while we were shooting. Because you filmed the episode of Power too, right? I never I wrote. Shot I, the, okay. uh, finale. Both I've never read. Yeah. I've never read an entire script. I know that. I've never read that. Entire so, but script. but part of but part of being this in this art form is understanding who the talent is and who people you working right. with. Right. Like I know what Tip gonna read. I know what right. Tip ain't gonna read. Right. I also know in the scene when he gonna be like, "Hey man, what is this right here?" Because he ain't he ain't seen it yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? So right. you have to also be prepared for that. But outside of the movie, I just wanted to say something which I think is super dynamic, man. Um, a lot of people have these conversations about like what we could do as a community. Uh -huh. and how we can move with black excellence and all this stuff. And obviously, everybody individually in here has been successful. Right. That's um, what's dope about that's this. That's what's really cool, man. But the reality is what happens a lot of times, man, with us as black and brown people is we don't never unify and do nothing together. 
Right. You might find one or two people that might be like, yo, I'm going to do something with him. But normally when we talk about big, this is why we don't own no NBA teams. We don't own no NFL teams. We don't own nothing, right? But the movie space is just like that, which is there's not a black person in Hollywood that can green light a movie and put it out theatrically worldwide, mm. period. So, Tyler Perry. Mm. What, Tyler Perry, but Tyler Perry is now... Well, that's your one to... The exception. Okay, it's the exception. Okay. Right. We'll, keep it, we'll keep it right here in this lane. So, but what I wanted to say is what I think is really unique, man, is the fact that we were able to all do this movie together. Right. Um, from the top to the bottom. So from the creative to everybody getting involved, from guys wanting to put their money in and invest with me as a black filmmaker. Right. And my wife, who's a producer, and, and make this whole thing, like, just Fire. come to life. And now to be able to take it out theatrically by ourselves as well. That's also fine. So that's, you know, this is the third, fourth time we've done this now, taking a film out worldwide theatrical by ourselves. So that. we have been competing with studios for the last seven, eight years. So just to know that we're doing that on this level, but with our brothers, that's is fine. something really special. And I hope that people actually take the time to understand that part of it. Hey, just talk, just talking about race, can I talk, say something about race? Because I always still care a little bit, but now that I've had some shots. But just racially, I think that um, because it's still so taboo to talk about right. black and white and talk about yeah. race with people of different colors here. Right. And I got to give shouts out to 50 Cent because he said what people forget about diversity usually is diversity. Um, and mm. in this film, it's black uh, people and white people and mixed race people, and it's not for any reason. They're just there, yeah. and I love that about it. It's not like right. this, 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 this guy's this because he's black, or this right. guy's this because he's white. It's just we're just there, and I think that that's actually a huge uh, advancement in 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 a, in a, in a cult in cultural uh, amalgamation. And can we pick up the females that's in here? Yeah, because yeah. your your female character is awesome. Andy. Your female character. Great lick of the Jessica leg. Lay. Yeah, um, lick. Can we say their names? Yeah, Andy, Andy, Andy. 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 No, I'm I'm jealous. Jealous. and Jessica Lane. Jessica, Jessica Lane. Oh, I'm married, but, but, he, yeah. but he licked Jessica Lane's leg. Yeah, yeah. he did. You, oh, you asked me. You told me to do it. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Guys, no, 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 no. Accusation. Dion's like, get more into it. Do it. Do it like Salo. Hold on. And do we got the flowers? Do we got flowers? God damn it. Do we, got, we got four or we got three? We got three. We got three. Because they, they, didn't, they didn't know that you was coming, but we're going to mail you your flowers, and that's real shit. Okay. This is Drink Chats oh. literally giving us our flowers. Wow. We, that's right. They told us an hour before you was coming. We did not know, but we're going to smell you your flowers. They like God damn it, yes. Yeah, they like all our flowers. Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 don't got it. Because yeah, Snoop Dogg said it's like getting a Grammy because it's from your own people. It's from your own people. And I'm going to be honest, brothers, man. Um, all of y'all got a luxurious careers, you know, individually. It's so dope to see y'all come together. I didn't know this until I had obviously had to research it. But it's dope to see people come together for a common cause and make it work. That's right. Like, I literally saw this This movie is dope, and it's going to work. And everyone go out there and see it. Uh, it's dope. And, and now you got the backstory. Now you got the story of how these brothers came together and said, let's do something, and especially during the pandemic. <laughs> That's so important for people to know that y'all was still working, that y'all was still ambitious, y'all was still hustling, y'all was still vigorous, y'all was still, I'm trying to use big words, y'all was still enthusiastic, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, that's the biggest I go, you know what I mean? And y'all was still doing it, y'all was still working. So what is something that you want to tell the people about this movie if, um, and damn, how I got another shot? And nobody else don't got one. <laughs> Again, just give me one of Terrence's, yeah, cool. and I'm with you. Take okay, okay, but I'm gonna take another one then. Cause, cause I'm gonna take it for the movie though. <laughs> Look, the, the days of, of reaching up for help are over. Right. Reach across. Mm -hmm. Work with your friends. Work with the people that you love. You want to build a business. You want to build a corporation. You want to build a company. You want to build your future. Work with your people. Don't wait for nobody to reach down and give you the opportunity. Work with the people that's beside you that's making it out the mud. Like, like we did for this project. I mean, we're not out the mud, but we all but, work together and we build muddy. something that's, that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> and very muddy. Muddy. Very you muddy. Me? Work with your family. I think, I think not enough can be said about this gentleman's vision. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
his vision, his tenacity, right. and, and, and his ability to execute. Mm. You know what I mean? Also, coupled with his relationships. He got all of us to go do some shit none of us was planning on doing. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like In the that. haunted house. Yeah. <laughs> Haunted. It was really haunted. a resort. Yeah, it yeah. was a haunted resort. Yeah, and that Bruh. lady is creepy as a motherfucker. It's great, man. Ooh, great that lady? Yeah, Bruh. great job. Great cast. Wasn't none of us, and it wasn't no goddamn five star accommodations. Mm-hmm. Like, you. Ah, your place was that, yeah. that little spot you had. Four and a half. I think, I think when you compare it to your spot, <laughs> right. you know that's, what a fact. Saying? that's a fact. That's a fact. But, but what, did one of y'all, what, what did he say? He said, he said, this, this, he said, this is not the fall season. This is just. Fall. Hey, stop, 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 stop. One you can't do this. Movie, I got a good movie, man. You can't do this. I told you I'm into this. We got a good movie with this, man. <laughs> no, you said that was Bash. And that was Bash. Let's do Love to Bash. Bash. Oh, that was the improv. Yo. Oh, he improv that? Yeah, yeah improv that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. let, let me say this before we get out of here. Yeah. Because you just said something earlier, and I want to just, before we lead the show, I want to make sure we recognize this. Here's why you're incredible, and this show is incredible, and this is incredible. Yeah. Because a long time ago, there was never a platform for this story to be told. Right. So that's why it's important for you to exist right now. Right. Thank you. Because a movie would go out, right. they would do what they need to do to make sure people knew what that movie was. Yeah. But when our things come out, no one would know the backstory. Right. And now, to date, yeah. the only people that know the story about how this movie got put God together God is Nori and Drink <laughs> Listen, and I'm not trying to trick y'all. I don't think there's nothing else to do but to take a shot. <laughs> that, 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 hold on, hold up, because I because I didn't get to say I didn't yeah, get to say my please. thing. And you can cut this out. I don't mind it. No, we ain't cut this out. My brother in here, yes, Alvin. your brother. Who's, he's the biggest drink champs yes, fan my ever. Alvin, Alvin, A L B I N, Alvin. No, 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 no. Take your shot. We gonna give Alvin's own shot. I dare you. No, no, no. No, Alvin, 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 Alvin has seen Alvin, every single, a, every Alvin. single. Let's give Al, what kind of shot do you want, Alvin? Whatever this is. All right. <laughs> Nor- Noriega, Noriega. He has seen every single episode he's, of Drink Chats from the beginning. He's my friend. In my mind, he's my friend. God damn it. So even though he, J- Joseph chose Tribe Called Quest, right. I thought of KRS One. With that sex me and do man, I'd rather listen to brand new being. Listen, guys. Ooh. Listen, guys, may yeah. you guys never have no fear, but y'all go out there and y'all go see fear and have that fear for I think it's an hour and thirty-seven minutes, somewhere around that. Yeah. Mark. The doubt, you know. Ooh. Okay. I watched it. It's such a great movie. It's a twister. Even even though everything you think that I said here. There's so much other shit that's going to happen that it's like, you know, it's a real dope movie to see these brothers come together. That's why I wanted to big up the sisters as well. That's right. Because it's just not just brothers getting together. It was... the, the. them girls did a great they job, great man. Job, they yep. did a great job. The girl that's scratching, holy Ruby shit. Ruby Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So um, it's, it's such a dope, man. Yo, congratulations to you brothers. Thank you, man. Because... I honestly did not know the story. I just thought this was, you know, right. Fox Theaters giving y'all yeah, money yeah. and y'all just spending money and you're just out in Miami just saying, whatever. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, that ain't I saw it. the movie and I'm like, oh, shit, this is dope. Yeah. Every woman was a woman of color in that in this film. I, I didn't think of that till now. Every woman in the film is a woman of color. Yep. Wow. Inclu- yeah. Including Roxanne, who produced the movie Absol- as a yeah. black woman. Absol- That's right. 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 Glad you brought up. That I mean, yeah, you know, it was it was super dope, man, to, to see it. And um, I want to say congratulations to each and every one yeah. of y'all. I want to say thank y'all for coming thank to Drink you, Champs. Oh, uh, can I can I, can I say one? Yeah. yeah. As, yeah. The co-host. as the co-host, yeah. I would like to say. <laughs> Thank you to the writer and the director and the producer. Thank you to my other producing partners and my other co co uh, co stars in the film. Mm-hmm. Thank you to the people who aren't here. Mm-hmm. Thank you to the to the crew. You know mm-hmm. to the the other financiers that are behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Thank you to everybody that made this a possibility and a reality. Everybody came together. Everybody kind of stepped out on faith. We believed in his vision, yep. uh, and and he's executed and brought it 
into fruition, you know, absolutely, in a way that none of us could have envisioned. So I'm just, I'm proud, honored, and, and, and it's a pleasure to be a part of it. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity. I appreciate it. Yes. Uh, my brother. Yes. Love. And one, one thing is so dope, one thing, let, let me say this before I get out of there. One thing is so dope is the respect that I see that each and every individual has. How, 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 as a director, can you maintain these relationships with, with actors slash artists slash rappers? How do you maintain these relationships? They're real relationships. Okay. Uh, a, lot, a lot of time, Hollywood entertainment is built on fake Mm -hmm. Nothing is real. Mm -hmm. um, I come from a very authentic place, so if I pull you in, it's because I really like you. Right. And uh, I know that I'd rather work with people that I love, that are friends, more so than anybody else that might be 50 times bigger than anybody at this table. Right. Just because I know I'm going to do it over and over again with them. So this is real relationships. Outside of a film, I'm hitting them and screaming and yelling, like, yo, what you doing over here? Uh. That's just a whole thing. So... Authenticity is is what we need right now in the world, and and this is what this table represents. Beautiful. Table. Fake love oh, is worse. I gotta, I gotta say one. I gotta okay. say Fake one love thing, is worse yo. than real hate. I'm gonna just say okay. that as another little euphemism Where? to throw well, out there. Dropping, you've a, been dropping. been dropping all these uh, slogans. As a, as a as a seasoned 20 year host, watching what Nori does right now, yo, yo uh, it's right? really impressive. First of all, yeah. 90. 5% of the shows I've hosted, there's a teleprompter. So there's no prompter back no. here. <laughs> You're doing all of this. So my research is doing already research, done. like, yeah. off your phone. I know there's a little bit of phone, but that's yeah. a scary thing because it's not yeah. really involved. Like, yo, yeah. you killing this shit, bro. Yeah. 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 Like, yo, you killing this shit. No, but honestly, honestly, I'm really that's a crazy. fan of all of you brothers, but to see y'all brothers come together, I didn't know that till just now. So it just made it more interesting because it's like, all right, cool. One thing that we don't have... Oh, one thing that we lack of is ego. Yep. Ego is like, if, like, you know, one of the, I don't know if I should say it, but it, ego is a fucked up That's thing, right. and, it's a, fucked and it's, up. Also a, it's also a dope thing, too. Yep. You know what I mean? So you yep. have to know how to be a seesaw right. in the ego, in the ego Yo, keep thing. Keep it 100. This guy right here, like, currently, and for, like, the past, what is it, nine, ten... It'll be, it'll be years? 10 years in September. 10 years has had one of the biggest yes. television shows, actors in the Two world. Two of them, though. Two, like, no, multiple. Ozone. You're not even counting. <laughs> multiple, right? And then you're talking about one of the fucking, uh, uh, the pillars yes. of, the, of the industry. It's yes, the king, bitch. Yes, he is. What's the matter? Mount Rushmore, <laughs> right? Yes, yes. Neither one of these guys came to set any day with ego. It was never like, yo, Bye. bro, by the way, I'm actually in between power. I got, like, what? it was never ego with Joseph once. Oh. Tip never came on set like, yo, guys, I I'm ego with y'all. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, you, did, you did not ego. Uh, I'm yeah. not going to let you do that. I'm not going to nah. let you make a joke out of Me it. Me and my wife kicked you and King Betch ass in spades. Oh. oh. You should, I should have been your partner. They, they, I, she, like, nah, I mean, nah. There was a lot of controversy I, today. I, I executed. I, 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 I distributed a, 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 a great deal of ego that day. I'm up for the next round. Of I will that. say. Uh, let, let's let's, let's, let's ask a lifelong question. Is space a black game? Oh. Or is it universal? Let's bring it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go universal. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else. Let's have a shot. <laughs> I don't know. If you don't play with jokers, then you have to question the, you have to question hey, it. Hey, you know what's funny? <laughs> you. And this is on oh thank you. And this is on um I play I went I went to go see Trick Daddy. These niggas had the most fucked up rules <laughs> I ever seen. Jokers didn't count. Aces didn't count. It was just like kings and jokers. I the say, ace of spades didn't count. What I'm in my ace? mind. I might be fucking this story up. <laughs> in my mind, but it was something fucked up yeah. like that. Was and I, ace high? I don't even remember, but I remember I said, these South niggas, John. <laughs> and I sat there and I said, I learned it took me two hands. And then I discovered. And I got the hand and I whipped him. I played the win. I played the win. And guess what? Classic. I don't want to call this New York shit, yeah. but classic yeah. me shit. Yeah. Soon as I won, 
I quit. Yeah. Yo. Oh, I'm, good thing you weren't playing dice in New York. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, this is space. Yeah. As soon as I won, uh, I won three hands in a row, I said, okay, fellas, this is it for me. <laughs> and I jumped up like you know how you win in Vegas and you know you're not going to keep winning. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, so we, are we taking a shot for that? Yeah, definitely. Yes. <laughs> for fear. For fear. For fear. For fear. Great fucking movie. Great fucking cast. In the end, January 27th. Cheers. Great Cheers. fucking cast. Yes. I'm Drink so glad. And I'm so happy that that people can explain that brothers can come together and make a movie on their own. Because for the most part, this is independent. Because y'all are the independent. Not company. for the most part. In, nah, in, it's in total. 100%. Okay, so, that's and, and it's, it's as rare because it's it's even hard to say. Even even when I was doing the Intruder, I didn't understand the whole process. Another shout out to Omar Joseph. Well, but um, uh, Dion, Dion, this is independent. Uh, in, Completion. This right. is the uh, uh, Hidden Empire Films is is getting this into theaters. Not right. Sony. Not anybody else. Not no big names. Yeah, every, just every, them. Every film we've made is an independent movie. That means we put up our own money and make the film completely and own the film. And then you, you have beef with Gazi at one point. With who? Gazi, um, Empire Records. Me? Yeah. I don't even know who that is. Ooh. No, no, no. Yeah. He ain't, I'm, I'm speaking I'm speaking for him. He ain't had no beef <laughs> with guys yeah. the Empire. Okay. They just happened to have the, the similar same name, name yeah. at the end. Of, so, yeah. which brings a lot of, you know, it, it could be This is like three of y'all, right? You em, Empire Productions, right? Empire. Nah, what you talking empire. about? Empire. Now, listen. What you, empire the, um, hit me out. What you talking Fox. about is Empire, the TV show for yep. Fox. Yeah. Them and guys that had a situation. Oh, oh nothing oh. to do with it. He's, he's oh, Hidden okay. Empire. Yeah. Oh, Hidden Empire yeah. Production Company. Oh, okay. They didn't even they see him. That's why you didn't get host, goddamn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goddamn, yeah. that's why you didn't get host. They ain't got nothing to do with that. Round of applause. Come on. Let's take a call. You better get me caught in the twist. Let's <laughs> 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 get me caught in some shit out of here. My man, they got shit to do with that. I appreciate you. Tim said, no, look at that. The way you said it, I said, this nigga avoided it. Tim understood exactly what I was thinking. No, I'm being truthful. Who is that? Yeah, yeah. Holy shit, come on. Don't worry. I'm in. You gonna skip? I'm this in. little shot right here is bothering me. Come on, no. You could look. Look how little this is. Look how little this is. I feel like Louis Vuitton. No, 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 Louis no, Vuitton. Man, one day, one day, day when footage is gonna be brought back. Can we have a shot? Up. Can we have a shot for Terrence's a watch? Can we have? Yeah, a, oh yes, yes. Oh, yeah, shot for the watch. Let's make a shot for Terrence's watch. Salud. There we go. Hmm. All right. Now you a smooth nigga, Terrence. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> come on. Nah. Yo, come on. Listen. Yo, 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 listen, to fear. Oh, everybody? And to not having fear. This is to fear. Okay, to, to fear. fear. To not having fear, that's not a shot, sir. No fear. That is a drink. Okay, listen. Okay, yes. It's you know, a, this, this is professional champs, drink right? champs, yes. Okay. Yes. But let, let hey, me that, that's also a drink. Okay. <laughs> Let's see the shot. That's no, okay, I you took it already? All right. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Why does he keep getting filled Bad up? question. <laughs> no, I swear to God. <laughs> this shot has been empty. She do it every time. But I've never seen her. This This cup is haunted. This show is unlike anything else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Man. What you about to say, Dion? No, like, no, I was, I was, I was. I just wanted to know, like, what, what, what is fair? Fear. No. Uh, oh, fear. Fair. Fear. F e a r. Fear, baby. That's the name of the movie. The, that is the dopest is the movie. Of the movie. Dopest uh, 2023. Movie. Hell yeah. You, sh you should, you should find out about it. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> Coming out. <laughs> Came out last Friday. <laughs> It's coming out. It's coming out. No, it's coming out tonight. Yes, tonight. Local movie theaters. You hear me? Do we remember where these theaters are? Yeah. Everywhere. All Everywhere. of them. Everywhere. Near, oh, so, theater near you. So y'all not like a, just at 14? Come on, no. bro. It's like, it's like hey, a, well over a thousand. Okay, over yeah. a thousand. How about try 1800? Yeah. Oh. 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 1800 oh. theaters. Listen, motherfucker, shit is everywhere. I'm renting out a theater, man. I'm going to throw it out there. No. Yo! I'm going to throw it out there. Yeah, I'll cheer to that. I'm going to throw it. Oh, <laughs> Give me no, no. Take a shot. Take a shot to that, <laughs> motherfucker. Let's do it. Take a shot. Oh, shit, I got another one. Hey. Yo, Dad, you got another one. It's a half a shot. Half a it's shot. It's a theater round. It's a half no, a shot. To the theater. To the theater. And that drink chance money on us, man. Yeah, no problem. It's a no. theater round. Mm. Now, once again, fellas, thank y'all for staying so long. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for thinking of us. But also, let me also thank y'all for coming together and showing togetherness, showing that men can come together. 
showing that we can and own some shit. That's because that's, that's right. basically the premise that's of what right. we're saying. It's like, all right, let's go make a great movie. Yep. Well, most of us make a great movie and Lionsgate own it. That's right. That's right. Uh, Fox News own it. Fox Flashlight, whatever them niggas search, search like some shit. Search like <laughs> you know them niggas. You know, you know what I'm talking about. When Flash when you when you do Warner Brothers on it, God. And, and, who is my people? Piece the, of the, piece of Warner Brothers. See, we did you know these I mean? we did these deals so long ago. Yeah. Like every like all the money's on the screen. Yep. Mm. Yep. It's not like you you don't when we, mm. when you shoot a movie like this. It's not like you come. Yeah. No, 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 no. Word up. You don't you don't come to make money. You come to invest in your future. Okay. You come to invest. In the project That's You know all. what I'm saying Dion puts all the money On the screen mm. So it's not like We can't None of us came For a payday mm. We came for the long haul Did you have trailers? Um, okay. Nah oh. We had rooms In this haunted ass cabin there was, it, it was It was really haunted Nah re, Nah Real spill <laughs> <laughs> Trailers Trailers. No trailers. <laughs> it's that independent grind I'm talking about. I'm, no I'm trailers. We own it, man. We own it. Yeah. <clears throat> but we will end it on ownership because a lot of people lie about ownership. Right. The reality is we own the film. God damn it. So at the end of the day, every movie that we done made, we own it. And God these damn. guys own I'm sorry, this I need movie. one more for ownership. And one time so for, that's it. One time for Dion and Roxanne, man, because they are yeah. really... Dion, Roxanne. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Forever Young Old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Joseph, <laughs> let's give Omar Joseph his flowers too. Okay, yeah. Right, What's up, old? Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. Look, I, I, the last I, one is for y'all, bro. It's for y'all. You know, come on. You know, I've been doing this for you for years, man. Last motherfucking and, shot. Yo, and by the way, let me let me um Tell let me big up to the up. Trap Cafe. What was it? Yeah, Trap City Cafe. Trap City Cafe, Ooh. man. I came out there. I won my award. And you know what's ironic? I just played a record that me and you got together. And, I, and it had to be a year or two years ago, I said, because I said, I said, I went platinum and never won no awards. Thank you. For and ironically, <laughs> my one award that I actually won, you presented it. Ah, wow. That's me. crazy. That's, but I, I said that's that crazy. prior, so now I got to change the line. I don't know if I got to change the line of leadership. I don't know. But we just played it, and that shit sound good. You didn't even remember when you I played the remember. verse. I swear to God, I don't remember saying it. <laughs> that's that's what we have a good night. Like, it said, no, it did nah, you sound killed that. I was, I was almost going to gas you to uh, film your part right there. Ah. But, <laughs> <laughs> that's called me and honest. Hey, man. You still got the best shoes what in the time, building. Man? You what still got time? the best shoes in the building. I'm number two with the college. Hold what on. What time for Queens? I'm in number the two. I'm number two with the college. Hold on. Let me see what you got. Ooh. Yeah, I'm number two with the college. Oh, Hold on. Hey, hey man, somebody tell Kelly no. I'm still waiting on, man. You done with the Saudi Arabia with this nigga. You I'm ain't got to pay a college. No, nah, they told me they were going to get him to me. <laughs> They told me they were going to get them to me. They said it was in the mail. They I'm still checking the mail. I'm still, still checking the mail. It, it must have just came. What size are What size are <laughs> Yo, to all of you brothers, man, thank y'all so much, oh, oh, man. Oh, oh, Appreciate oh, that, oh, man. Hold up, hold up. Oh, you took yours already? You got to fill them up. I thought that's just what... Got to fill them up. By the way, this is the ninth history of the Oh, you got stashes, too? I love y'all. One more question. There you go, bro. That's one. Oh, these, these motherfuckers got stashes. Yeah, they, 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 they in fear, having fear. Yeah. They got stashes over here. <laughs> Salute. I'm going to take this down. We're going to take some pictures, and that's it, y'all. Go, Thank y'all. Yo, yo. Yo, this was a good one. This was